Hey everybody, Matt Clark here. Uh, welcome to this live training call. Uh, before we start going, I just wanna make sure that everyone can hear me loud and clear. So I guess I'll start with uh, Mike, who I'll introduce in a second. Can you hear and see me? Yep, I can hear and see you just fine. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me go ahead and flip over to the next slide so anybody who joins knows where we're at. Um, cool, yeah, so everyone, thanks for joining us. Uh, we like to start these a little bit after the scheduled start time because what we found is that you know, between technical issues and everything else going on, people opening emails, going to the page, refreshing the page, all that good stuff that, um, uh, you know, we like to give people 10 to 15 minutes to jump on because we're super excited to deliver what we have for you today. And we don't want people, you know, jumping in halfway and missing a lot of it. So, but we find we get about the bulk of the people right at about the 15 minute mark. So appreciate everyone here uh, who showed up on time and everyone who's, who's just gotten in, we're about to go ahead and get rolling. So uh, as we talked about today, we're gonna be covering how to build your own physical products business online. Now, right now, as you can imagine, is a very interesting time to be doing this. I mean, with all of us, you know, basically, uh, you know, billions of people around the world, hundreds of millions inside the US that have now been um, basically told to stay at home uh, until, you know, we get a handle on everything going on with the coronavirus, that now is a very interesting time to be thinking about building this kind of business. So I'm super excited you're here because you know, we've been doing this stuff for eight plus years as a company. I've been doing it for 11 plus years as an individual, still doing it today. And I'll share some of the stats of the, one of the businesses I'm involved in. Uh, and so we know this business hands down, but now is one of the most interesting times to do this that I've ever seen uh, because it's almost a necessity. Whereas before there's been this kind of slow progression from physical retail to online retail, but then overnight, all of a sudden everything shifted online because it had to accept maybe some groceries and a handful of other things that you're still picking up locally. Uh, so it's, it's a very interesting time to be doing this. And we know a lot of people are now kind of reconsidering. A lot of people have been laid off. A lot of people are concerned about job security. A lot of people are maybe liking the, you know, working from home uh, that may have never had that opportunity in the past. You've never worked for a remote company and you're like, wow, you know, when this is all over, I don't want to have to go back and be stuck in an office for eight hours a day. I want to be able to work from home or work while I'm traveling or work from a beach in Thailand when we're all able to go explore the world again. I don't wanna be stuck in the office 40 hours a week. Uh, so a lot of people are thinking about that stuff right now. And, and aside from that, now is just a super interesting time to build this kind of business because of the new opportunity. So we'll talk all about that stuff. I'm gonna quit rambling. And uh, first off, I wanna introduce my co-host. His name is Mike McClary. Uh, he actually started off as a member of ours. He's been through his own journey from corporate employee to multi-million dollar e-commerce business owner. Now he's our chief product officer, helps create great products uh, and services for our members to help them get better results, build bigger e-commerce businesses. He still runs his own multi-million dollar e-commerce business. We live and breathe this stuff. We don't just teach this stuff. And so he's going to help me co-host. I'm going to be doing a lot of the presentation. He's going to be helping give away prizes. He's going to be monitoring the Q&A in the background. And also we're both going to be doing the live Q&A at the end so everyone can get as much value as possible but he knows this stuff as well, if not better than I do. I just happen to be doing the presentation. So super excited to have Mike with us. So Mike, uh, maybe you wanna say hi for a second. Yeah, thanks, Matt. And uh, thanks and welcome everyone who's joining us. We appreciate you taking this time out. Uh, we know the world is a little bit of a crazy play place right now. Um, so if there ever was a more perfect time to learn how to like, build your own business from right in your home, wherever you're at right now, this is the perfect time to do that. Uh, Matt and I went over the material. This is great actionable training. You're going to a ton of value out of it. I remember several years back when I was going through a similar type of training like this, how it changed my life to be able to build uh, an entire e-commerce business. And I've now launched multiple brands of products. And you're going to learn how to do that tonight in the next 90 minutes. Uh, so what I'm going to do is while Matt's doing the training, I'll turn my camera off. I'll go in the background. Uh, if you're watching us on our, uh, on our page, we have set up for this. You'll be able to win some hundred dollar prizes. Matt's going to talk about that later, but keeping, keeping an eye out for uh, when that happens. And we'll be having you text in your answer answers. So be sure to take some notes. I mean, not just for the prizes, but take notes because this information is gold and I want you to get as much out of it as possible, but you also have an opportunity to win some hundred dollar gift cards from us. So be sure to take notes, answer when you can, follow the instructions by texting us to them. And then I'll be in the background answering as many questions as I can, and then hopping back on the QA at the end of the presentation. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to try to keep uh, my video on as long as I possibly can. If we start getting any bandwidth issues, or also, because we're actually, believe it or not, using Zoom to go through YouTube to go on the page. And so uh, with Zoom, it, it kind of sticks the video in the top right. So Mike, if you would, you don't have to say anything right now, but if you start noticing that 
the little videos just kind of stuck in headline after headline, let me know. I'll just shut the video off until Q&A so people don't uh, miss part of the slides. But for now, I'm going to try to leave it on. Uh, makes it a little more engaging, a little more fun. Uh, but if it becomes an issue, I'll just turn it off till Q&A. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get rolling. So <clears throat> I pulled a stat. The average commute time as of 2018 was 27 minutes one way. And if you do the math, that's about an hour per day minimum people are spending commuting to and from work. Now, 10% spend about 60 minutes or more one way. That means 10% of people are spending at least two hours a day commuting to their offices. But it's not just the commute that ends up eating up people's time. Only about 45% of time spent at the office are people doing real work. The other time is people are spent getting distracted, you know, between meetings and people walking up to them and interrupting them and casual conversation and all kinds of stuff like that. It ends up eating up a lot of their time. And this is the typical life of somebody who works in an office. They're driving an hour, two hours a day to and from the office. And not only that, once they get to the office, they can only spend, you know, 45% of the time doing real work. The other 55% is being taken up uh, by stuff that doesn't really add any value to their life or to the company. But with everyone stuck at home right now, does this mean that right now could be the best opportunity you get to ever build your own business? Because what we're talking about today is how you can go out there and build a business from scratch in as little as an hour a day. And right now, I get it totally. I understand that you may have kids at home that aren't in school uh, that are kind of you know maybe distracting you more than if you were in an office. You may have other obligations, a parent or somebody else you have to take care of. But I believe in general, people have a little extra time on their hands right now. Uh, and just from talking with a lot of different people, if you're just not commuting to and from the office, that's potentially an extra hour a day you have right now that you may not have forever. So right now could be the best perfect time for you to go out there and build a business. Now, I don't wanna spend a bunch of time you know, talking about myself, but just wanna give you a tiny bit of background information so you know I know what I'm talking about. And then we'll get into the, the real stuff you came here for, which is the training. So here's how I know I can help you. First off, I'm co-founder and CEO of Amazing.com Inc. Uh, I left my corporate job, like a lot of you all may be working a corporate job right now. I worked at an investment bank straight out of college. Uh, I only worked there for about seven months and then I had it, I was ready to quit, go build my own business. So I left there and started my e-commerce business back in 2009. I uh, was able to ramp up very quickly to about $2 million a year, but there was a big problem with this business. There was no cash flow. I was able to ramp up to $2 million a year and where I ended up was about $100,000 in credit card debt. So I dug into every book, every seminar. I learned a bunch of stuff. I tried everything out in my business. And I was able to finally figure out how to actually produce cash flow in an e-commerce business. And so since then, I've been teaching and sharing what I was able to figure out uh, on Amazon, off Amazon, general cash flow principles of e-commerce since about 2012 with my business partner, Jason Katzenbach, who's the other co-founder of Amazing.com Inc. And so since then, I've been fortunate to reach millions of people. Uh, it's been an amazing journey over these past, you know, uh, eight years or so. And I'm here to help you avoid the same kind of mistakes. You know, we've been fortunate to be able to hang out with people like Sir Richard Branson, you can see over there, Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, Dave Asprey, founder of Bulletproof, Sarah Blakely, founder of Spanx, a lot of cool different people that are on the same mission that we are to help other people build businesses. And because of all this, you know, I've sort of, um, you know, made it a big part of my life to help more people like you avoid the same mistakes that I made in building a business. And I knew there had to be a better way to teach people how to go out there and build businesses. And in case you're wondering, yes, I still do this, this stuff. I don't just sit here and teach it. And then, um, you know, I, I'm, you know, there's all these, there's that saying, which I don't believe is necessarily true, you know, about those who teach, you know, they basically can't actually do the business. Uh, I don't believe that's necessarily true, but still doing this stuff myself. As you can see back in July, this is an e-commerce business that I've been um, part owner of since last year and uh, started growing it uh, back in January of last year. I was only doing about 17 grand a month. Uh, last two months, we've done both months about $800,000 in monthly sales. We've scaled this thing like crazy. Uh, this is just last month that I pulled, um, I believe, you know, right before the end of the month. And so as you can see, average sales 20, 20 to 25 grand or so every single day. And this is with the coronavirus, you know, throwing ad stuff, um, you know, really wonky for a little bit of time. Conversion rates dropped because people got scared about spending money. Uh, but yeah, we do this stuff every single day in our own businesses while we're helping other people do the same exact thing. 
So now why are we here today together? First off, to give you the steps to build a business online in as little as an hour a day, an hour a day that you may have right now that you may not always have. Uh, the business you can build is gonna be yours. This isn't like an MLM thing or a drop shipping thing where you're helping build somebody else's business or you're bugging your friends on Facebook or any of that kind of stuff. This is a real tangible business that you own and control. You can build for cash flow, for income, and you can build it to sell it if you want, or you can do both. And this is a real long-term business, not some weird short-term hustle, taking advantage of some loopholes um, or some weird you know, things going on in the economy or the market. Uh, this is a real long-term business that you're gonna be proud of. You're gonna be selling good, high-quality products. This is a business you can build uh, and bring on friends and family to run with you, or you can share with friends and family, inspire them what you're doing. So this is a real good business, not some weird thing doing on the internet just to make money. And you're gonna be selling high quality physical products that people actually want and need, not low quality stuff where you're kind of ripping people off and don't feel good about it. And you're never, if when you build this business and you're successful, one of the big reasons of doing that is so you can never be, you'll never have to be dependent on a company or a 401k again for your retirement, for your source of income. You now have an asset that you own and control and can help set you financially free or at least speed up the time it takes for you to get freedom to achieve retirement or whatever financial goals that you have. So by the end of this webinar, our live training, you're going to understand how this business model works and you're going to know exactly what you need to do to go out there and build your own business. These are the main two objectives. Understand how this business model works and have the tools that you need to go out there and build your own business. So what we're going to cover first is step one and it's kind of five main steps. Step one is choosing a platform to sell on. Step two, picking a product. Step three, finding a supplier. Step four, launching your product for quick sales and profits. Step five, scaling fast to achieve your financial dreams. And we're also gonna cover how to accomplish all of this in as little as 60 minutes a day. <clears throat> a few housekeeping notes. Uh, the training part usually takes about an hour to an hour and a half which may seem like a lot of time, but we try to cram as much stuff in here as we possibly can. So maybe like an hour, an hour and a half training, and then Q&A will be 30 minutes to an hour. However many questions you have, we'll try to answer as many of them we can as in about, in about 30 minutes to an hour. So total, we're looking at about two hours here. And um, that includes some of the time you know, from, that we've already started with. Uh, so ask questions throughout below this video. If you're watching on our webpage, which I highly encourage you to watch it on our webpage, Hopefully that link is in our description if somehow you ended up on the YouTube video, but watch it on our webpage because we have a text uh, number that you can text in questions. And that's our primary medium for managing questions. If you're on the YouTube video and you can't text in, or if you're on the page and you can't text in, you can always click on the video, the title, uh, and it'll take you over to YouTube and you can chat there, but I really encourage you to use the text tool that's gonna be our primary tool for managing Q&A. So, and don't worry about having to write everything down from all these slides. We're gonna email a copy of them to you um, after the webinar, either tonight or by tomorrow. And in the Q&A, we're gonna be giving you a bonus. This is an incentive for you to stay live, learn as much as possible um, and not bail out early like some people do who are maybe a little bit less committed. Uh, but if you stay all the way to Q&A, we're gonna reward you by giving you a brand new list for April of 2020 of 20 red hot products you can sell on Amazon right now. And we're also gonna be giving away three $100 Amazon gift cards throughout that are all based on the content that we're covering. So Mike McClary is gonna come back on, he's gonna ask a question based on the content and the first person to text in the right answer is gonna win one of these $100 Amazon gift cards. So right now, you know, before all this coronavirus stuff happened, businesses, people, everyone was just kind of chugging along and then some businesses dropped off a cliff all of a sudden overnight. Restaurants, hotels, airlines, local businesses, banks, they all got a big wake up call and it wasn't fun. It still is not fun. And then some businesses at the same time ended up seeing the opposite kind of spike. This is like e-commerce, Amazon, online sellers, people that had already been positioned for what's the eventual future, future anyways, which is ordering products online because it's a more efficient medium. You don't need as much overhead, all that sort of stuff. But this just accelerated it literally in a matter of a month or two. Now, what's going to happen after all this? Don't necessarily know. But what I am pretty sure is that e-commerce is going to keep growing even when everything else is able to come back to life. Now, what are going to be the long-term effects of this? First off, I think more people are going to keep working from home. Uh, businesses are going to realize maybe we don't need to spend all this money on offices. 
Uh, people can still be productive from home. People that are working from home may be like, hey, it's not really that fun to have to go in an office 40 hours a week. So I think there's still gonna be more people working from home. There's still gonna be more products that are impacted by this kind of stuff. Uh, to give you a perfect example, I actually pulled this up here, is this product right here is a Bluetooth speaker. You may think, how the heck is that related to the coronavirus impact, a Bluetooth speaker? The only reason I bought this thing, and I literally just bought this for myself, not as a demo, is because now I'm doing more workouts in my garage uh, that I didn't do before, and I wanted a nice speaker. I never had a use for one of these before, but now because I'm doing more workouts in my garage, that now I need this kind of speaker. So this is impacting people's purchase behavior. And now I have extra workout equipment in my garage. That means I don't need to go to the gym as much. That means I'm less likely to be paying for a gym membership, even when everything reopens. And so these are the kind of long-term effects that there are thousands of different examples we could talk through of how this is going to impact purchasing behavior long-term. And the reason I show the little hand sanitizer bottle, just because it's kind of the ubiquitous example right now, uh, but also because that I think there's also going to be a shift in mentality for people that lasts a long time. This is going to leave a scar on people. They're going to be more concerned about cleanliness, about you know products that don't require so much touching and different things like that. And uh, other examples like the one I just showed you, this stuff is going to last for a while. Also, companies are likely not going to be hiring back all the people they hired before. So if you work for a big corporation, unfortunately, uh, you're probably less secure in there, uh, whether you've been you know, fired or not. Hopefully you haven't been. Uh, but these companies, in most cases, because of the financial hit and because they're probably going to realize they don't need so many people uh, because they've just loaded up on debt over the past 10 years and have hired like crazy. That's why employment was so low. Most of them are not going to go back to the size that they were at before. So the job market is also changing. So what do you do about all this? You don't go out there hoping that a big corporation is going to pay for your paycheck, that you're going to be able to have a nice 401k, and that's going to fund everything. Instead, you learn how to build a business tapping into this new world 100% online that you can run from anywhere, no matter what's going on in the world or where you're at in the world. Uh, selling products that are built for this new world. And I don't literally mean hand sanitizer. I mean products that are built for this new world that didn't exist before. And you sell them directly to people online that can be shipped directly to people's doorsteps that are now working from home more often, or even if they're not, doesn't really matter, but you're selling products that are delivered straight to people. Uh, it's a much more efficient business model. And those people are paying you to find great products, create great products for them that they actually need and want in their lives. So I'm gonna share some success stories with you, but before I do I have to cover a quick disclaimer. So in this live training, we're gonna show you real results from a few of our real students. We don't make any of this stuff up. We both, Mike and I both own active e-commerce businesses and believe fully in what we're teaching you. However, you gotta understand that every business is gonna involve risk, doesn't matter what business it is. Like a lot of achievements in life, a lot, of, a lot of achievements in life, you get out what you put in and there's always gonna be an element of luck. Some students at the end of the day will make little to no money. So with all that said, here's Devin DeRoche who owns a brand called Grillaholics. It's actually barbecue equipment. And uh, just last year, 2019, his business was number 811 on the Inc. 5000 list. And as you can see, his 2018 revenue was about $2.7 million and his three-year growth was about 527%. And he started his business back in 2014 following this exact same model that you're learning on this live training. Now, this is another person, her name's Channing Dyson, and uh, she's actually a hairstylist, still does it for fun, uh, but that was what she was doing for a living before this. And as you can see, this is a one month screenshot where she did about a half a million dollars in sales. And this is a picture with her and her family. She actually does this business with her husband, Justin. And she says, quote, I've made more money in a single month than I used to make in a year. This is what's possible with this exact business. Very real story, one of our students. So let's get into this. Step one of building your own business is to choose a platform. So you have to choose the right platform to sell on. You want one that has large and growing sales, uh, not like eBay, for example, which has been on, been on the decline for a long time. You want one that requires minimal technical skills. There's proof of success. People just like you have been successful. There's low fees, so it doesn't eat up all your profit margin. And there's lots of opportunities. So with all this stuff considered, we think hands down the best place to start selling on if you've got limited to no experience in e-commerce, Amazon. $280 billion in revenue last year. That's $47 billion more than what they did the year before. And about half of all that comes from regular people like you and us selling stuff on their websites. 49% or almost half of all US online retail happens on Amazon. And right now during the coronavirus, uh, my guess is it's probably even more. Uh, tons of international opportunities. It's not just a US platform. So now why is Amazon the easiest place to launch? Because Amazon's gonna take care of nearly everything for you. 
Uh, they'll take care of finding customers. There's already hundreds of millions of people there buying. Uh, they'll take care of credit card processing and fraud, shipping and fulfillment, website maintenance, customer service, and returns and refund. They handle all that stuff for you. All you have to worry about is branding and inventory management. So as long as you build a good brand, sell good products, and keep your inventory in stock, then you can build a business selling on Amazon and let them take care of all that other stuff that you don't want to have to worry about when you're just getting started. And now with everything going on in the world, Amazon's even more valuable than what it was before. For example, uh, this is showing that they're hiring 100,000 new people. Millions of people have been laid off by other businesses. Amazon right now is hiring like crazy, 100,000 new people. And there's so much demand that Amazon's even going against one of its core principles. Uh, and one of Amazon's core principles, and they've literally just invested uh, about a billion dollars into faster shipping, uh, is you know one of their big principles has always been let's get products to customers as quickly as possible. That's why they did two-day shipping. Now they've invested a billion dollars into one-day shipping. And they've had to actually go back on that because of the coronavirus, because there's so many people wanting to buy products there. They've actually had to slow down some shipping. And this is very much just a temporary thing. Uh, so don't let it keep you from actually getting out and get started, because I think now is one of the best times to get started on Amazon. So because there's so much demand on Amazon, they've actually had to slow down some shipment, which is a great problem to have if you're a business. Now, how do you get set up to sell from any country is what we're going to cover next. But before we get into that, we're going to give away our first $100 Amazon gift card. All right. Thanks, Matt. Uh, hey, everyone. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to do this a couple of times throughout the training, but I'm going to ask you a question from something that Matt recently covered. You will text us in the answer, and the first correct answer is going to win the $100 Amazon gift card. So get your phones ready. And here is the question. How many new people did Amazon just hire in order to handle the increase in demand? Matt just covered a few minutes ago. So let's see, I'm now watching the text over here. Uh, let's see as they come in, trying to see exactly how uh, who the first winner is. And all right, we have our winner. So um, I don't have the name here. All we have is a phone number, but the answer was 100,000, uh, which is kind of crazy. But uh, uh, so what we'll do, we'll respond directly to your text tell you how to get your gift card and uh, keep paying attention because we'll have a few more prizes coming up throughout the training. Thanks, Matt. Cool. Thanks, Mike. So yeah, everybody, I think we still have it set up. Whenever you text in, it automatically replies and asks you to reply with your name. Go ahead and do that. So then we know we can uh, mention you by name whenever you're texting questions, that kind of thing. Just a little cool automation thing we set up in there, I think. Uh, cool. So how do you get set up to sell from any country? If you're in the US, sell in the US. There's no reason not to. You can sell on sellercentral.amazon.com and you don't need a business or an LLC to get started. You can just set up with your personal information, personal bank account and add business info later. If you live in the United Kingdom, then sell in the UK or in the US. Uh, you, if you wanna sell in the UK, you can use Seller Central UK. And in the UK, it's optional to set up a company. We've started to recommend people from the UK. If you're gonna sell in the UK, go ahead and set up a company. There's some advantages there, but you don't have to. Now, if you live in Germany, which is another massive Amazon platform, Highly recommended to sell in Germany. Great opportunities, tons of sales volume. Uh, Amazon.de, which I'm sure you're familiar with. And you can get set up to sell uh, with Seller Central Germany, which any of these things you can just Google and you'll find the login and registration page. Everywhere else, if you're not in the US, UK, or Germany, everywhere else in the world pretty much want to sell in the US on Amazon.com. And once again, you can use your personal information to get started. You don't need to set up a business or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, and you can also just get started at sellercentral.amazon.com. So how does this business model exactly work? Here's how you can run a nearly automated business from anywhere in the world or from your home, if that's what you have to do right now, which pretty much all of us do. So you are gonna go ahead and set up your business like we're gonna talk about in this live training. Then you're gonna contact your supplier once you have a product to sell, which we'll talk about next, you're gonna contact your supplier and then uh, say you need some more inventory produced. They're gonna send the inventory with your branding on it to fulfillment by Amazon, which is Amazon's network of warehouses all over the world that they'll store your inventory, they'll ship out orders, they'll handle customer service, they'll do all that kind of stuff for you. They're basically storing your inventory. And then when people go and start shopping on Amazon, they're gonna see your product available for sale. And if they're a Prime member, they're gonna get free two-day shipping and in some cases, free one-day shipping. And then basically Amazon pays you every 14 days. So you just basically keep repeating this process. You monitor, remember I said, the two, re two requirements, branding, making sure you have good products and managing your inventory. So you're just watching Amazon seeing when your inventory starts running down, 
then you contact your supplier, say, hey supplier, I'm almost out of stock. I need you to prepare some more inventory and send it back to Amazon. They send it to Amazon, more people buy from you on Amazon, Amazon pays you every 14 days. This is how this cycle repeats again and again and again, and that's how you build a good, solid, profitable business. So now that you know what platform to sell on, which is Amazon to start off with, then step two is to find a good product to sell. Now here are three critical elements of a great product. First, you want good potential profit. You don't wanna sell a product that's not gonna make you any money, otherwise there's no point in doing this business. You want good potential profit, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, uh, which is just the number of sales times the profit per sale. And we'll show you how that's calculated. You want one with low competition, which we'll also talk about. And third, which we're also gonna talk about, easy to launch and sell. You don't wanna make your life so hard and complicated at first. Uh, we really wanna stack the odds of success in your favor. So we're gonna give you some tips on how to uh, make this as easy as possible for you. So you're not in a nightmare situation, spending six months trying to get a product live. So, Let's talk about uh, first potential profit. So I pulled this example. This is actually a product that I literally just ordered. I've got one sitting somewhere downstairs, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got one sitting downstairs because I just ordered a, an electric bike. I've wanted one for a while, but if I decided to go ahead and order one and uh, you know, I use Google Maps on there if I'm going to a friend's house or something like that. And so uh, I, I, inst I bought a little uh, phone mount thing. And so this is literally a product that I just bought on Amazon. And so this product sells for about $19.98. Uh, currently on Amazon, monthly sales are about 13,500. 13,500 of these are sold every single month on Amazon. The product cost is about $2.99. Now I added a dollar for shipping from the manufacturer to the US, which is typ our typical estimate. And so the product cost is only about $2.99. And then the estimated shipping to get from the manufacturer to Amazon FBA is about a dollar. So plug that extra dollar in there. And then Amazon tells me, and I'll show you this calculator in a few minutes, is that Amazon tells me that their total fees from what they charge when you sell a product on Amazon, all the fulfillment related expenses are about $7.49 per unit. This means this product, taking out what Amazon charges, the product cost, and uh, basically deducting that from the selling price and multiplying that times the monthly sales, this product makes a monthly profit of about $127,000 a month. $127,000 a month in profit from this one single product. Now, how do you find products with almost zero competition? You're like, yeah, that sounds great, but they've probably been selling for a while, which they have. They probably have a lot of reviews, which they do. They have 12,000 something reviews. Now there are about 3 billion products available for sale on Amazon. So there's a lot more options and this is just one I'm showing you. But at the end of the day, you gotta go out there and find a product that you're gonna be able to compete with um, other existing sellers, even though you have zero experience, zero reviews, zero traction, any of that stuff when you get started. Here's how you do it. So if I were to go out there and sell this exact product and I wanted to target bicycle phone mount, for example, I'd be competing with them and 470 other people just like them uh, you know, for that keyword. And that's gonna be hard to do when you're the newest player on Amazon. However, if I were to target a keyword that's a little bit longer, such as bicycle phone mount waterproof, then I'm only competing with 127. That's better, but it's still a lot. Now, if I were to go instead, I'm gonna laser focus my marketing and my positioning at first, just for bicycle phone mount waterproof iPhone 10. So those people who have an iPhone 10 and they want one that's waterproof and is a bicycle mount, then you're gonna be their best choice because that's how you've positioned the product. And there's only 13 people you're competing with them. I don't even know if these ones show up for that, but there's only 13 people. You can go out there with a brand new product and compete with 13 people and start making sales. And then what you do is you get ranked for that keyword, then you start going after the more competitive one, such as bicycle phone mount waterproof. And then whenever you build up traction and reviews and keyword rankings, then you can go after the most competitive and potentially the highest sales volume keyword, which is bicycle phone mount. This is how you can go into almost any product on Amazon and start making sales, even if you have no experience. Now, how do you find these kind of products to sell? Here's a way to do it pretty quickly. So there's a weird little quirk in Amazon that if you type a minus symbol and then eight or more random characters, it's gonna give you a list of all the categories and the best selling products in those categories. So I just typed in that weird little search query and then I see the list of categories and I just kind of picked a random category, which is garden and outdoor. And then I picked a random subcategory of garden and outdoor, which is gardening and lawn care. Then once I did that, all I did was uh, run a little tool that 
Um, it's a great tool and you can actually get it for free, a free trial. And so uh, we're partners in this business, but that's not why I'm sharing. There's other tools out there that can do this kind of thing for you. It's a Chrome plugin that you can go out there, get a free trial, never pay anything, cancel it. You don't have to do anything. Uh, I just want to show you this is what we use. It's called Manage by Stats or MBS Retriever. And it just plugs into your Chrome browser. And whenever you pull up one of these pages on Amazon, you can press a button in your Chrome browser and it pulls up the estimated sales volume and allows you to quickly sort through these products. So when I get to that subcategory, I pull up these products and I do two things. Now I'm gonna to try to pull out my fancy pointer thing here and this should be good. And so hopefully you can see this, but all I do is first put in price and price, I put a maximum of $100. And what that does is I don't wanna be selling looking for products that are selling for too much more than $100 because they probably are going to be too expensive for inventory costs to get started. So I put a maximum of about $100 selling price. And then next, I put revenue, a minimum of $40,000. The reason I do that is because a typical profit margin could be around 25%. And so what we found is that a lot of people are trying to replace or achieve a six-figure income with their e-commerce business. So if you're doing $40,000 a month in revenue, that's about $10,000 a month in profit. And so if you want a product that's doing at least $10,000 a month in profit, if you put a minimum of $40,000 a month in revenue, that's how you get there. So that's why I put in those two things. And then it gives me all the products that meet those criteria. And then all I would do is start looking at each one of these and finding out if it's something that I may want to sell. And then I'd start adding them to a Google sheet or Excel spreadsheet and start creating a list of these kind of product opportunities that I may want to go out there and sell. And then I'd continue with the rest of the stuff we're going to cover. But this is how you do some really quick product research. So I'm going to try to clear this thing off of here and then go back to my mouse. Cool. And then, so how do you speed up your success by three to six months? First, look for small products under five pounds. When you're filtering through these kind of products, you want products that are physically small and under five pounds. Because if they're too big and bulky or if they're too heavy, you're going to have to ship them by sea if they're coming from overseas. They're going to have to be shipped by sea. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to compete on price because it's going to be too expensive to ship them. If you try to ship a giant, like a, like a computer desk or something um, by plane, it's going to be a crazy shipping cost. And you're going to have, you're not going to make any money selling those things. So you'd have to ship them by sea to have the same price as everyone else does. But if you have a light and small product, the difference between a shipping cost by sea versus by air is only going to be you know, hardly anything. And so if you get physically small products that are also light, you can save yourself a month in shipping time. Because shipping by sea takes about five weeks. Shipping by air takes about one week. So you're basically cutting off a month of the time it takes you to get up and start making money with this business. Also, avoid restricted categories. So on Amazon, there's certain categories that you have to have approval for. And there's ways to do it. We have lots of people that sell in these kind of categories. And it's totally fine, but it's going to slow you down at first. And so we recommend that if you just Google Amazon restricted categories, you'll find out what they are. Uh, but we recommend avoiding those at first just to be able to uh, make things easier for yourself and save time. And also start with one product that's very simple, like one size, one color. Uh, don't go out there selling products that have a bunch of different variations. It's just going to be a nightmare to manage all that. You're going to have to figure out how to create variations inside of Amazon. You're basically going to have, you know, potentially for every variation, you're going to kind of have like a new Amazon listing for each one of those that you have to manage copy and images and pricing and everything else. And it's just going to be far too complex. One simple product is all you need at first. And also don't go out there trying to reinvent a product or custom manufacture or anything. Go generic at first and then customize later. And I'll give you an example in a little bit, uh, but start with a regular product that you can basically just put your logo on and then you can always customize it more later. You can always create something bigger and better and faster and everything like that later. But at first, do something generic so you can get up and running and start gaining experience and making money as fast as possible. And then also, especially right now, uh, most manufacturers now are back online and they're actually hungry for business in China because a lot of people have been slowing down. You know, all these local businesses that maybe used to order products from China and are not ordering anything right now. Uh, China's actually, a lot of them are looking for business right now. So it's a good time to be able to negotiate pricing and all that sort of stuff. But some manufacturers may still not be online. So one of your criteria, whenever you're looking for products to sell is you should contact the suppliers and make sure that they are ready to ship your stuff as soon as it's ready. They're ready to produce it. If not, you may look for a different supplier or a different product. Optional is you can get products manufactured in the US. You can get health supplements, you can get beauty products, you can get some cleaning supplies you know, sprays and that kind of stuff. 
Uh, some of that stuff you can get manufactured in the US and uh, it, it's, that's the main place where it's manufactured. So that is another option, though we think you can deal, still, still do this, no problem whatsoever, uh, getting products from China, as long as you ask for that lead time and you, you don't sell a product that, for whatever reason, that manufacturer is just way behind on stuff. Now, an example of a product that you may not want to sell uh, to speed up your success would be a big bulky foam mat like this. Uh, it's likely going to have to be shipped by sea for it to be economical in pricing. And so you probably would not want to sell that at first. A good potential product would be like the bicycle foam mount because it's light, it's small, and it's something that can be shipped by air and save you a month of time. Um, and you really only need one size because that little thing can clip onto back basically uh, any handlebar. And also the one that I bought comes with like three different little attachments. So it can basically fit on any phone too. So you don't need any different variations of it. So that's a good product. Um, that, that is an example of one that you could sell that would, that would meet all these criteria and would help speed up the time it takes for you to be successful by three to six months. So what we've talked about so far. So there's about 3 billion products on Amazon. You filtered them down by products that have good profit potential. You filtered them down by products that have keywords you can target that most people aren't targeting. You filtered them down by products that are easy to sell, light and small, not in a restricted category. The manufacturer is available and ready to ship them. Uh, now what's next? Well, one thing we want to cover before we talk about how you really figure out the pricing and uh, cost of these kind of products is you've got to own the brand. And so it's incredibly important. I started off my first e-commerce business selling other people's brands of products and it was a nightmare and the profit margins were terrible. So you wanna own the brand because you'll get higher profit margins, you'll get more control, you'll get greater business value and you'll have less direct competition. When you own the brand, your business is worth way more and nobody else can sell your brand of products because you own them. Now with this product over here, uh, basically the only thing that's making it their brand versus somebody else is this little brand name logo here. It's, uh, the brand name is called Rome. And so uh, if you had a similar product, you could basically have your own made up brand name that we'll talk about in a few minutes. And that would be your brand of a similar kind of product that you could go out there and sell on Amazon. You wouldn't have to be selling Rome's brand or anything like or anybody else's brand any other big bicycle brand or any of that kind of stuff, you'd have your own brand that you own and control uh, and is building a uh, cash flow for you every single day. And so with it being that easy to create your own brand of a product, there's no reason to ever go out there and sell somebody else's brand. So doing my mouse tricks. Uh, cool. So step three, find a high quality supplier. So you've come up with a list of products, you've narrowed it down based on all those different criteria. Now you need to go out there and find a supplier for one of these. So all I did was, for example, search for bicycle phone mount on a website called Alibaba.com. You can see the logo up there, A-L-I-B-A-B-A.com, Alibaba.com. It's just a site that connects you with manufacturers from all over the world. I just went on there. I typed bicycle phone mount, and you can see there's about 2,000 results, 2,000 different suppliers that can all give me products that are related to bicycle phone mount. Uh, so that's how you find a product, you know, probably 80% of the products you'd sell. The other 20%, if it's like a supplement or nutritional product or food product or that kind of thing, you may need to go search in Google. And I would just look for whatever the product is. In this case, for an example, I did collagen powder, a uh, popular product, and I put private label in front or after it. Either way, it doesn't matter. And you'll find a bunch of different suppliers. In this case, there's over 800,000 different results um, of potential suppliers I can contact and see if they're selling the kind of product that I want to sell. Literally between Alibaba and Google search just like that, that's all you need to find any supplier you want. Now, how do you actually go out there and calculate profit for this kind of thing? Because you wanna make sure you do this calculation before you order your inventory so you don't end up with inventory of a product that's not gonna make you any money. So the way you do it is you go out there and you use a tool called the Amazon FBA Revenue Calculator. So all I did was, and by the way, if you just Google Amazon FBA Revenue Calculator, calculator or Amazon Fee Calculator, you'll see this tool pull up. It's a free tool created by Amazon, uh, super simple to use. Now you're not gonna worry about this column because that's if you're doing your own shipping and fulfillment, which is an option. You can have a third party company outside of Amazon do shipping and fulfillment for you. Um, no problem, you can do it, but we recommend using Amazon fulfillment or Amazon FBA because that makes, it's gonna help your products rank higher on Amazon. Prime members will get free two day and, one, and, and going forward, one day shipping, free one day shipping, doesn't cost you anything extra. Uh, it helps automate the entire business for you. So 
highly recommend using Amazon fulfillment. So assuming you're using Amazon, then all I did was plug in the price of the product, the selling price, $19.98, assuming we'd be selling it for about what other people are selling it for. And so Amazon tells me they're going to take about $3. I sell this product on Amazon for 20 bucks. Amazon wants about $3. That's their fee for letting you use their platform. And then Amazon tells me that if I'm using their fulfillment, it's going to cost about $3.49 for, for them to pick and pack the order, ship it, store it, all that kind of stuff. And then shipping to Amazon, this is where I put in that dollar estimate to get it from the manufacturer to Amazon. I put about a dollar a unit. And so Amazon says the total fulfillment cost is about $4.49. So for every unit that I sell, Amazon's basically going to give me $12.49 but we still got to pay for the product and we will have already paid for it in advance with the manufacturer. But that's where I put in about $2.99. And so on Alibaba, when I looked this kind of product up, you can get this exact kind of product for about $3. And so after all this stuff is considered, Amazon's fees, product costs, shipping costs, fulfillment fees, all that stuff, you'd make about $9.50 or about 47 to 48% profit margin on every single unit sold. And this is how the manufacturer or the, the brand behind this listing is making about $127,000 a month in profit from this one single product every single month because they're making about 47, 48% selling it. So that's how you calculate the product. For the opportunities you find, you'd want to find a supplier on Alibaba or Google and then get the product cost. And once you have that, you have basically all the other information you need to figure out how much you'd actually make selling this kind of product. Now, a few important tips. So you want to sell a high quality product. You don't want to go out there and sell junk because it's going to be real people on the other end that are ordering this product. The more happy customers you get, the more sales you're going to make. You're going to get more positive reviews, less negative reviews. You're going to get more repeat purchases. You're going to get more people coming back to buy your future products. Uh, you're going to get more referral sales and your life's going to be way easier. So you want to sell good, solid, high quality products. And also don't chase fads. Don't go out there trying to sell, um, you know, medical masks and stuff like that right now. That stuff is because of this crazy world event. And this kind of stuff has happened a million different times. There used to be weight loss supplements that would explode on Amazon and then all of a sudden die off after the Dr. Oz episode stop, stopped airing. And it's not a business you really want to be in. Don't chase fads. Fidget spinners is another one. Uh, I personally know somebody who I think ended up with like 60,000 units of fidget spinners. They couldn't figure out how to sell. You want to sell a product that you think is gonna keep selling well for the next three to five years. Uh, that's how you build a good solid long-term business that's way less stressful and sell a good high quality product. So the last step before fit picking your first product, you wanna pick two to three suppliers and order a sample from each one of them and evaluate those samples for quality. So you're literally gonna receive a, a sample of the product that you're looking to sell. And you wanna check them out, have your friends check them out, try to use them. For example, if I was ordering um, like this Bluetooth speaker thing I have here and I was ordering samples that are similar, I would go out there and I'd play it inside, I'd play it outside. If they say it's waterproof, I'd get some water on it or whatever kind of level that they, they, they're claiming, whether you can dunk it in the water, I would do all that kind of stuff and see how it goes and try to use it as much as possible to see if you can really gauge the quality, like put it in a closet and you know let it run for 24 hours straight and see if it's still doing well. Uh, so evaluate the samples for quality, let friends and family give feedback also. Uh, and then also at the same time, evaluate the suppliers for their communication ability and thoroughness, because how they act when you're ordering samples is going to be indicative of how they act whenever you're ordering real inventory. So you're not only evaluating the samples for quality, you're also evaluating the suppliers for communication ability and thoroughness. So once you've done all that, you're pretty much ready to pick a product to sell. So remember, you want to sell your own brand. So it's quick and easy to create a brand. First, just come up with a list of potential brand names that fit the market you want to sell in. Then check for .com domains and trademarks in the U.S. If you just literally Google U.S. trademark search, super easy. You can plug in the names you come up with and the government will tell you if it's taken or not. Then get a logo created. I recommend Fiverr.com if you want to get started super cheap and easy. It's only about 10 bucks to get a logo created there. That's my recommendation if you're just getting started out because there's no reason to take on more risk than you need to. Um, but uh, later on, if you want to spend a little more money, say 300 bucks or so, you can get a nicer logo, most likely created at 99designs.com. That's where I go for almost all my, all my logos. Uh, uh, you have a lot of people competing for designs, but it's a great website. And then fourth, get your packaging design. I recommend it first, let the manufacturer do your packaging uh, because they'll already have templates 
And you can basically just put your logo on there and swap out some text. And then now you'll have your own packaging because uh, you could start with some pretty generic packaging at first. And uh, later on, you can always get some nice custom design packaging at 99designs.com or somewhere else. But there's no reason to spend that money at first. Just let the manufacturer do it. Slap your logo on a blank box. Good enough to get started. Keep your risk and cost as low as possible at first. So you might be wondering, okay, this all sounds good. I understand kind of how to create a brand, how to find a product, how to source it. But why the heck is somebody going to buy my product when they could buy anybody else's on Amazon? The reason is, is that say, for example, just like you, or I mean, just like me, I went to uh, Amazon and I just searched bicycle phone mount. Uh, in this case, I included waterproof, but I just searched for bicycle phone mount. And how did I pick which one to buy? Well, I wasn't necessarily looking for any big brand. I don't know who the heck Rome is. I've never heard of him before. Maybe you have, but I haven't. Uh, and so I was just looking, okay. Uh, is it a product design that I like? Like, I don't know about this kind of weird thing, um, but some people may like it. Uh, and, you know, I looked for a product, you know, that was more like this, that kind of nice and sort of seamless. I checked out the number of reviews. I checked out the pricing. I checked out the link. Then I clicked on it, went over their listing and checked it out. Now, what's the big kicker here is that if you can get your product to show up, just like each one of these are, if you can get your product to show up for this keyword, you're going to make sales because you're gonna to appeal to some segment of the audience. And so that's the name of the game is getting ranked for keywords, getting a good high quality product and getting ranked for keywords. If you can do that, you can make sales even if nobody's heard of your brand before because people trust Amazon's rankings. So now you might be wondering how much inventory should you order? Well, you want about 100 to 200 units to start if possible. It allows you to do extra marketing, uh, makes your life a little bit easier. So ideally, 100 to 200 units. Now, the typical product cost is going to be about five to ten dollars, or five to fifteen dollars, uh, if you're selling a product kind of in the price range that we typically recommend, which is about fifteen bucks to say hundred bucks. Um, that's the price range we recommend if you're getting started. Now, that means your typical product cost is going to be say five dollars to fifteen dollars. That means your total inventory cost will be about five hundred to three thousand dollars. Now, this includes packaging, labeling, shipping to Amazon, and everything. Now, with all this said, you know, you want to avoid a big mistake, which is actually ordering too much inventory. Some people, if you've got more financial resources, you're like, well, if I just want to move faster, I'm just going to order $10,000 worth of inventory. I wouldn't recommend it, even if you have the money, uh, because you may want to improve the product the next time. Uh, you may want to do something slightly different. And by keeping your risk low, you'll be more nimble, be able to move faster, um, so recommend don't order too much inventory. Uh, I think what we've asked our members before, the average was about $1,200. But some people like Mike, for example, have started with as little as $500. I wouldn't necessarily recommend going above $3,000 in your initial inventory cost. But what you're really targeting is to get about 100 to 200 units live and available for sale. So you can do all the marketing, start building reviews and everything else in the business. So now we're ready to get into our second prize. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, everyone. Getting a ton of great questions, by the way. Not only can you use the text number to win the prizes, feel free to ask us any questions as well. We're trying to answer them in the background. We got Rich Henderson. He's one of our chief mentors that helps all kinds of sellers all over the world. Uh, we have Sonia from Customer Success on there. I'm on there. So feel free to ask questions, uh, and then we'll get to as many as we can live and also at the end. But for the prize here, here's the question. Uh, a little bit ago, Matt was showing you how to look for products on Amazon that meet the criteria for a good product opportunity. And when he was filtering them, he set a maximum price for those products that you want to look for. What was the maximum price that he was looking for on the products? So I'm going to monitor, hop on over to our texting service and see who the first winner is. Okay. Um, no, I saw a minimum price. I see a minimum price. There we go. All right. First answer. I can't see a name, see a number though. The maximum price when filtering was $100 to make sure that the products don't cost too much and then doesn't make sure that you don't order too much, uh, cost too much by inventory as well. We'll be sure to respond back and send your prize there. And I'll be back shortly with another giveaway. Thanks, Matt. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Uh, cool. Yeah. So let's keep rolling here. So step four, launch your product for fast sales and profit. So you've chosen a platform, you've picked a product, you've found a supplier, you've got your product ready. Now it's time to launch your product to produce as many sales as possible 
in the shortest time period possible, it actually kind of tricks Amazon's algorithm and helps rank your products faster. But you really just want to start making money as fast as possible, which is a real reason to do this. So that's step number four. Uh, so uh, in Amazon, it's very simple to add a new product for sale. Whenever you're ready to start selling your product, you can just log in there and you'll see that there's an option to list a new product. And you just click this little link that says create a new product listing on Amazon. When you add a product, it's called a product listing um, and you end up with a product listing page, which is your publicly visible page for your product on Amazon. And then you'll see a little page like this that's got these different tabs across there where you add details about your product. What do you want to sell it for? What's the title description? Um, all that other sort of stuff. And is Amazon going to provide fulfillment, which we recommend, or are you going to ship the items yourself? So one of the first steps to creating a product that's actually going to sell well on Amazon is to creating a great product listing page. Remember, this is your piece of Amazon real estate where people are going to come and decide whether or not they want to buy your product. A few key elements you want to pay attention to. First, you want a nice primary image. This is a big image that shows up here with a nice white background. As you can see, there's no extra space around this thing. So they've done a good job formatting this to make it look as big as possible. It really stands out with this blue background on the phone, which is just kind of, they had a designer probably pop that on there. It's probably digitally done. Uh, and then you also wanna have good supporting images, good high quality images that show how to use your product, features and benefits, and anything else people would need to know to make a purchasing decision. Then you wanna have a good product title. So you want a good solid product title that includes your top keywords that you want to target, which we'll talk about in a second, and also includes details um, you know, about, about the actual product. Next, you want to have good solid bullet points. Now, these can include features, benefits, anything it's going to take to help sell your product and reduce the perceived risk of buying it. As you can see, they're doing a manufacturer limited warranty. They're saying it's nice and sturdy. They're saying it's handlebar compatible because it's probably a concern a lot of people have. First bullet is universal for all phones, because I'm sure they probably know by now that what's the number one question they get is probably, is this going to work for my phone? Um, and they're also probably including extra keywords here. So they fit iPhone X, iPhone XR, iPhone 8 Plus, blah, 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 blah. And they're maybe even missing an opportunity. I don't think it's anything, even though iPhone X is probably what people are typing, they don't have anything about iPhone 10. So they're probably actually missing a keyword opportunity there. Uh, so if the person who's watching this is on here, <laughs> there's probably an opportunity that I'm sure you're aware of. Uh, either way, so uh, these people have a great listing, which is why they're selling so well. So this is a good example of what to do. So you'll compare this to other products out there and they'll have a terrible main image. They'll have only a couple of these images. Uh, they won't include a lot of keywords in their title. And so once you learn how to really do this stuff right, you can help your product convert a lot more and get a lot more clicks and sales. So you want to make sure you have a good product listing page. Uh, and so when we talked about keywords, where all the value comes from on Amazon is ranking for keywords. If you can rank for keywords, you can make sales, but you don't want to spread yourself too thin. You want to pick a single keyword to dominate and then go after a another keyword. So start with just one keyword, get a top ranking for it, start making sales, and then repeat this process for more keyword. The analogy I give is just like building a house. You add one brick and then you add the next and you add the next and you add the next and then eventually you have a whole house built. You add one keyword you're targeting, you get ranked for it. You add another keyword, another keyword, another keyword, then you're producing as many sales as you want. So that's the strategy here. So how do you decide which keyword to go after? Uh, well, you type in the keyword. Now there's tools out that'll do this for you. And I'll talk about one a little bit later. There's tools out there that'll do this stuff for you. But one easy way to do it is just type in your main, uh, whatever you think the product is, whatever a common person would uh, search for on Amazon. So for example, bicycle phone holder or bicycle phone mount, something like that. And then see what pops up. These are literally the terms that Amazon is saying that people are already searching for. And so I would pick one of these and we recommend picking one of these that's about four to seven words long is a good um, general sort of rule of thumb if you're not using an actual keyword tool that tells you the best keywords to target. So target one that's, you know, four to seven words long. So for example, I mean, literally just about any of these can work. Um, obviously avoid ones that aren't really applicable. Bicycle phone holder, handlebar bag may not really be uh, relevant bicycle phone holder stem cap mount. If your product's actually relevant for this, then this could be an imperfect example. But if this isn't really relevant to your product, then it may not be a good example. So you'd want to pick one that's about four to seven words long and it is actually relevant, relevant for your product. So for example, maybe just bicycle phone holder waterproof is good. Or maybe type that in and you'll see one that has a couple more words after it. And that may be even a better one to go for because you want a product that still has decent sales volume. And if it's showing up in Amazon suggested search, chances are there's a decent number of people searching for it. 
but you want one that has less competition, which is why we recommend four to seven words long, because most people aren't going to be targeting the ones that are that are that much longer. So now, how do you get ranked for this keyword once you actually figure out the keyword to target? First thing, include it in your product title because Amazon knows that it's relevant for that. Next up is to start with a temporary 20 to 30% launch discount. This is literally a discount on your product that it's not the eventual price you want to sell it for, but you're starting a little bit lower to get sales faster. Then you're going to create an Amazon sponsored ads campaign. And so these are keyword ads that Amazon lets you run to show up at the top when people search for keywords on Amazon. Amazon makes some money off of this. And if you manage it right, you basically break even on these ads. So it doesn't really cost you anything from a profit perspective. So you create an Amazon sponsored ads campaign. And I recommend creating a 100% automatic campaign at first, which just allows Amazon to go out there and pick the right keywords and stuff for you to target. You could set a super low budget of say five to 10 bucks a day and Amazon will go out there and find customers for you. Also create a second campaign that's targeting only that one keyword. So for example, you know, uh, bicycle phone holder, waterproof, iPhone 10, for example, target just that one keyword because Amazon's got to laser focus all that traffic. So you rank for that one keyword faster. And if you want, if you've started building a social media following, which is recommended, but is optional on Instagram, Facebook, anywhere else, uh, you can also post on your social media that this discount is available and it'll help get you even better results, but it is optional. And then run this campaign with a launch discount and the ads for one to two weeks and you will start ranking for your main keyword. And then you can just repeat this process if you want for other keywords, or you can just start writing that success and making more money. So now how do you get reviews for your product? You might be wondering, well, here's a perfect example is, uh, you know, when I bought this product, you can see on that screenshot on the left, they're asking me to register for my lifetime warranty. And the middle one is this little card they included in there also asking me to register for the warranty. And then the far right one is the other side of that little card where they're basically saying I can get 40% off another one of their products. If I go opt in for their Facebook messenger list. And so <clears throat> your goal is to get people on your own list, either messenger or email or text message. And then you can follow up with them to ask them to write reviews uh, later on. And so uh, when I opted in for this thing, they sent me to a little landing page and I was doing this on my phone. And so they sent me to a little landing page with that first screenshot on the left. And then basically after I opted in with messenger, <clears throat> they gave me a link to go uh, check out their products for a discount. And they sent me a message like this, which is just automated. Uh, what you can see here is, um, you know, they're basically giving me links to go buy the product for 40% off. You could do the same thing, uh, following up later to ask people to leave a review of the product, see if they like it, if they don't like it, and, uh, you can get more reviews that way. But Amazon's made this even easier is nowadays you can just go and whenever somebody buys something from you on Amazon, as long as you're selling a good high quality product, uh, then it, this is going to work perfect. You can go in there and literally just click a request a review button. This used to not be available. And so this is an option now if you want to go out there and get reviews. And so it's made it way easier to get reviews than it's ever been before. And this has only been available for the past three months or so. So before we go to the next and final uh, step of this, we're going to give another prize away. All right. Thanks, Matt. Got my mic turned back on here. All right, everyone. So have your texting fingers ready. Uh, here is the next question. And uh, Matt just covered the easiest way to get a review, which is to simply hit that button, the request review button, which Amazon just added. It works awesomely. But before that, he also gave us another way about putting something in your product. What is that? Text us the answer and the first one will win a hundred dollars. All right. So I'm keeping an eye on the texting service. Let's see, and there we go. First one is having inserts. Inserts is the correct answer with some kind of discount. Uh, awesome, uh, we'll be sure to respond and get your gift card and I'm gonna turn it back over to Matt. Awesome, thanks Mike. Uh, all right, so step number five, scale your business to achieve your dream life. You've got a product live, you're ranking for keywords, you're making sales, what's next? Well, I read a book called Snowball. It's about Warren Buffett, a super long book. It's like 300 to 400 pages or something like that. But in this book, they talk about when he was younger, he and a friend, they ended up uh, buying a pinball machine and they put this pinball machine in a bar. And so they paid a little money for this pinball machine, but now this pinball machine was making them cash every single day from people playing it. So now they bought this asset, they put it inside of a restaurant or a bar, and now it's making them cash flow. They use that cash flow to go buy a second one of these machines. And so now they have two of these, two different locations, both making them money day and night. They ended up using both of these. 
the cash flow from both of them to buy two more. Now they have four times the cash flow coming in and it all was just built organically. The same thing is what you can do with your business. You may start with a product like this one that's just a bicycle phone mount. This may be your only product at first. It starts generating cash flow. You use that cash flow, part of it to pay yourself and fund yourself and your own lifestyle, but use part of it to fund another product, maybe a bicycle light that goes on the handlebar also. It's a product that you could probably sell to all the people who bought your first product, which is the way we recommend building this business is don't go off into a bunch of different brands and markets, stay focused because you can have great leverage by being able to sell your next product to all the people that have bought your first product. So then you can have the cash flow from both of those products and use them to fund even more products. And these are actual products that this brand sells. They sell a little backpack that I guess people are probably using for cycling. They also sell a supplement, L-Arginine, because maybe they found that a lot of their uh, people are cyclists, um, not just casual bike riders, but they're cyclists. And they're using L-Arginine to uh, L-Arginine or L-Arginine, <laughs> I don't know which one it is, uh, to actually uh, uh, to recover from uh, uh, you know ex uh, intense workouts. And so these are actual products that they're selling that they're likely able to, whenever, the cool thing is, is that whenever they have those new products, not only can they sell those to the people that bought their first products, they can actually sell their first products to the people that have bought those ones. So it starts all feeding each other. And that's how we've had people that have been able to build businesses into the multiple millions of dollars with this exact same kind of system, very similar to how Warren Buffett did with his pinball machines. So now that you understand these main five steps, how can you build this kind of business in as little as 60 minutes a day? Well, first is we wanna make sure you have a couple uh, essential productivity tips here. Uh, first, if you're gonna spend an hour and that's all you're gonna spend building your business, that hour has to be impactful. So you're gonna to need to shut everything else out for that entire hour every single day. Uh, these are actual pictures that I took of my home office. And so you might be wondering like, what the heck is that red light? Which I'll tell you about in a second. First off, the do not disturb sign. Uh, my wife literally bought this for me because she would come in here and I'd be like super focused on something. And uh, you know, maybe I wouldn't respond <laughs> super great or wouldn't really pay attention. And so we wanted a signal between us of when I'm doing super focused work and when I'm kind of you know doing calls or checking email or whatever else. And it's kind of like, I'm happy to, you know, uh, chat with her, whatever we need to do. Um, so we needed to kind of be, have that differentiation. So I literally have a little do not disturb sign, which may sound kind of weird to some people and I get it. Uh, but I literally would hang this on my door uh, for the few hours a day where I really need to buckle down and focus. So you may consider doing something similar. Then a friend actually ended up buying me this little Luxafor light. And so this actually allows me to do the same kind of thing. It's something hooked up on the outside of my door. I can literally turn this thing on. And then uh, I have this little light that I see is red, but they also see it's red out there. And it's used for conference rooms and stuff, but you know, a friend got it for me and it basically serves the same exact purpose. I'm only sharing this stuff with you. You can use your own system. You can literally hang a ribbon on the door or something. Uh, but if you're gonna spend an hour focusing, uh, you need to really focus. Also focus 100% of your attention on one task. This doesn't mean you know checking email, Slack, Skype, um, text message, everything else at the same time. Focus just on building your business using the strategy I'm gonna share with you. And uh, I thought there was two. Oh, third, uh, know what you're going to do before you start. Don't just show up and be like, okay, cool. I'm going to build my business. What am I going to do today? Make sure you know that you, what you're going to do that day whenever you show up and you're ready to work. So you're not having to use mental energy to try to figure out uh, how to be most productive. You already know all you have to do is jump, is jump in there and execute. So I see about three different phases. So the first phase is learning. Second phase, building. Third phase, is growing and in each one of these phases, you'll use your time a little bit differently. So in the learning phase, I recommend, you know, just about four days. I've spent a hundred percent of the first four days learning. If you're spending an hour a day, that means uh, four total hours of just learning how to do this business. And maybe today is really the first hour or two you're doing this. Uh, so re-review today's webinar. You can fast forward through it. You can watch it. It's gonna be published on YouTube. Uh, and so you can re-review today's webinar. Uh, watch training videos you find online, maybe other people, maybe other videos that we have on our YouTube channel, read stuff online. You're just trying to absorb as much information as possible about how this business works and check out other popular Amazon products. How, what are they doing with their images and titles and bullets and descriptions? How are they building their brands? How are they talking to customers? What kind of products are they selling? Absorb as much information as possible in the first four days and write down what you find. Just write down the notes of what you learn, what you see, so that you can start formulating a picture of how this whole business works. Then in phase two, when you actually start building your business, 
I recommend spending the first day and first hour really is creating a plan. What are you going to sell? What, uh, or what, um, what's your goal with this business? How much time are you going to spend this? When are you going to work on this thing? That kind of stuff. Then every single week during this period, I recommend the first five days, review your plan for the first five minutes. So you know what you're getting into execute, uh, whether that's uh, going out there and researching products, finding suppliers, writing your listing copy, re- uh, doing any of that kind of stuff. And then the last five minutes prep for the next day. Day number six, learn more stuff. You need to be constantly learning in this business because things are always changing, whether that's watching our videos, YouTube stuff, any of that kind of thing. Uh, and then day seven, revise your plan for the next week because it's going to change based on what you learn and what you experience. So revise your plan for the next week. And you basically just keep iterating through this plan. And if you did this, if you're super, super focused for an hour a day, seven days a week, you can go out there and build this business because you only really need an hour a day to go out there and maybe today you contact some suppliers then you got to wait for them to respond. The next day you respond to them. And then the next day, maybe you're waiting for them to respond. And then the next day, maybe you're ordering the samples and then you're paying for the samples. And then you're maybe waiting for them to get shipped for you. Or maybe one day you're just researching products. And then the next day you're filling in some product cost information. So literally in an hour a day, you can go out there and build this business if you follow this kind of plan. And the last phase of this is whenever you've got some product live, you've, you've spent you know, a few months you know, doing this kind of execution, you've got product live and now you're ready to scale your business. I recommend the first 15 minutes each day, check your stats and do your basic maintenance. You're gonna have a handful of customer service messages. Uh, you may have some things from Amazon you need to take care of. Spend the first 15 minutes taking care of that basic stuff and check your stats, check your sales, your conversion rates and that kind of thing. Uh, reviews, if you've got any new reviews. And then the first day of the week, plan your week. And plus, you're probably going to need to be staying in regular communication with your suppliers. So that's maybe day one. Day two through five, execute new marketing strategies, uh, improve your advertising, improve your listing, see what other people are doing. Day six, learn more, go through more videos, more training. And day number seven, review your performance in depth. Go through all your stats, everything Amazon sharing with you. Uh, And hopefully in part of your learning, you're learning how to analyze your stats. And so in this phase, once again, in just an hour a day, Uh, or seven hours a week, if you want to split it up over just two or three days, for example, you can go out there and build an incredible business following this plan. Just these three phases, learning, building, and growing. You can go out there and build a business in as little as an hour a day using this model that we've shared with you so far. So imagine you've done all this stuff. You're spending your hour a day. You've learned how to build this business. You've got some products live, and now you've got these assets that are live on the internet. People are buying your product. They're loving it. You got your inventory stored with Amazon. Amazon's paying you every 14 days and you can literally work from your house or you can work whenever we're finally able to travel again and everything. And you're no longer dependent on a company or 401k or any of that kind of stuff for your financial freedom. That's what's possible with this business. Now that's what's happened. If you, that what will happen if you do this now, what do you lose? If you don't try is another question you should ask. Are you going to lose out on potential financial gain? Are you going to lose out on potential financial freedom? Are you going to lose out on stress of being dependent on somebody else for your financial livelihood? Are you going to have to work an extra 10 to 15, 20 years uh, to make up for the kind of retirement that you want to do? Uh, Whenever we're able to travel and everything again, are you not going to be able to do that because you're going to be having to stuck at the office again? Are you going to miss being able to take your kids to school or pick them up from school or all those kind of things uh, because you have a typical job? All that's possible. So something else to ask yourself when you're thinking about whether you should do this business or not. So here's an example of some people whose lives have been completely transformed by doing this exact same business. They're actually students of ours. So Jenna and Travis Ziegler, uh, they're both optometrists. Here's their actual health grades listing. So they're both optometrists. And uh, they ended up going out there and they were burnt out trying to build their optometry practices. They were seeing patients 12 hours a day and it was just not the kind of life that they wanted to live. So they ended up following our training building their own business. And this is a screenshot from about October of 2017 to October of 2018, showing in that year, they did over $3 million in sales. And it's completely transformed their life. Now they're financially free. They no longer uh, run clinics. They ended up selling them off and they do this business full time. But what it's really allowed them to do is to do what they care most about, which is literally travel to third world countries and help people see again, give people eye care that would never be able to get it Uh, because they can't afford it and it's not available where they're at. So they're able to go out there and do that kind of stuff for people and plus make good money all because of this exact same kind of business. So with all this said, you could do all this stuff on your own, but I don't recommend it. And here's why. 
you're going to risk potentially wasting a ton of time. And I don't mean like a couple of days, I mean years. Uh, you'll risk wasting potentially a lot of money, wrong product, wrong, mar wrong marketing, wrong supplier. Any of these kind of variables could go wrong and you can end up costing you a lot of money. Uh, you might choose the wrong product in the wrong market. You might miss out on important parts of doing the right marketing strategy. Uh, you won't know how to get through some common obstacles. Something's going to pop up. There's going to be some weird issue on Amazon, a weird issue with a supplier, and you're not going to know how to get through it. And you'll potentially repeat my past mistakes. I tried to do everything on my own. It took me years to be successful. And it also ended up with $100,000 in credit card debt. That's not a situation I want anybody to be in, uh, especially you after having been through this webinar. So that's why I don't recommend trying to do all this stuff on your own. With that said, I mean, we've shared a lot of stuff with you so far. We've got a lot more coming in the Q&A and everything else, but this is really just the tip of the iceberg. We have so much more we can share with you. So I have a couple questions. Which one of these do you think fits you right now? Are you tired of trading time for money in a nine to five job? Do you wanna control your own financial destiny? Do you wanna be able to provide for those that you care about? Are you ready to never have to go into an office again, even when everyone's back and working in their offices? And do you believe you could be really successful if you just had the right help. If you fit any one of these, then we have something super cool for you. So here's how I know we can help you. We've been helping people just like you for eight plus years. We've helped people from over 138 countries. We know every single strategy to grow this kind of business. We know every mistake that you have to avoid and we can get you to success faster and with a heck of a lot less stress. Because when you're trying to go from whatever goal you have financially or lifestyle wise to success, there's a few different components. You have to create a good solid plan. You're gonna make mistakes inevitably. You're gonna to have to learn from those and figure out how to handle them. And you're gonna to have to persevere. Where we can help you is in this middle part of creating a better plan, helping you avoid less mistakes, and then helping you get through those faster, uh, helping you learn faster, and helping make sure that you keep going when things get tough. So we've kind of broken this down into what we consider four key pillars of rapid business success. First is having a proven system to follow. Second is having experts to get help from. Third is having a great environment for success, being surrounded by other people building these kind of businesses. And fourth is having the right tools and resources. We've put all of these together and everything we know about building this kind of business into a program that we call Amazing Selling Machine. So Amazing Selling Machine is gonna give you a proven step-by-step -step program to achieve success. It's gonna help you save thousands of hours and avoid huge mistakes. It's gonna help you build a profitable business faster and easier and give you insider access to me, Mike, and other multi-million dollar experts. And plus, teach you how to create a valuable brand that once again, you own. We don't own it, nobody else owns it, you own the brand forever. And most importantly, help you achieve the freedom that you've always wanted. First component of this is a step-by-step -step online web class. This includes 153 video lessons, eight modules, 40 hours of content, you get to go at your own pace, watch it whatever time is convenient for you, watch anytime from anywhere. It includes easy to follow videos and you get free updates. You don't ever have to pay for updates whenever things change in this model or with a core training. And you can start this today. Mike and I are in there and so are two very special people, Rich Henderson and Dan Ashford, who have both helped people sell millions and millions and millions of dollars on Amazon. All of us are in there helping you build this business inside the web class. So and I wanna give you a little bit of an overview of this. There's about 14 to 21 lessons in every single module of the web class. Each lesson and module builds on what you've already learned and done. There's a bonus welcome module included to help you get started and you get to earn badges to reward yourself for progress along the way. Now, the first four modules, in module one, you get the exact process to find your perfect product to sell. In module two, you learn how to find high quality, low cost suppliers and module three, you learn about creating an irresistible brand that stands out. And in module four, you learn how to lay your marketing foundation before your launch. Then in module number five, you learn how to craft a high converting product page. Module six, you learn the step-by-step -step process for successful product launches. Module seven, advanced marketing and traffic tools. And module number eight, all about scaling your business to achieve your dream life. And as little as an hour a day, you can build your business with the training. Second component is what we call the mentor program. This includes access to 21 real experts. Average sales for them is $1.8 million each on Amazon. They're available 24 seven in there to help you out. You'll help you push through obstacles, speed up your success, avoid major mistakes, 
And here's an example of one of our mentors. Uh, this is their actual business selling on Amazon, $3.4 million in sales. Just to give you an example of the caliber of people we have in there. All of them have started and built their businesses with Amazing Selling Machine, just like you will. Plus, you get access to the private community. It includes over 25,000 active members, over 5,400 weekly interactions, members from 138 countries, seven-figure sellers, eight-figure sellers. You get motivation and inspiration, accountability, uh, and more inside this powerful community. Plus, you get access to the private resource vault, which is our private collection of resources to help you build your business. It includes personal contacts we've used to build our own businesses. There's 44 resources in there worth over $10,000. An example of this is a freight forwarder contacts that we actually use in our own businesses. So if you're kind of confused, okay, how do I get my product all the way from a manufacturer, for example, in China to Amazon FBA? Because there's going to be a little bit of a language barrier. The answer is a freight forwarder. You contact a freight forwarder and their fee is pretty much baked into the shipping cost. And so they'll handle uh, literally getting your product all the way from the manufacturer to the Chinese port, if that's where you're sourcing from, all the way across the sea or by air to the U.S. port, and then all the way from there, all the way to Amazon. They do all that stuff. You don't have to mess with any of it. And we give you our personal contacts at companies that are going to give you the best deal, best terms and everything because you're coming from Amazing Selling Machine. That's just one of the resources you get in there. You also get top product photographers that will help give you amazing photos at rock bottom prices. And there's just so much more stuff in there. You're also gonna get a special bonus, which is uh, the software tool suite. This is an exclusive deal only for ASM members. If you were to go out there and try to buy all this stuff on your own, cost you about $4,000, you get it included with Amazing Selling Machine. You get the product finder software, which is an enhanced version of the tool that I showed you earlier. You get a powerful keyword research tool, so you don't have to guess which keywords are the best ones to target. You get unlimited keyword tracking, so you can see where you rank for as many keywords as you want 24-7. You also get a customer email automation software that allows you to automatically send messages out to customers to get repeat sales, more reviews, better customer service, and all that sort of stuff on Amazon. And you get it 100% free for a full year. Now, like I said, if you were to try to go out there and buy this yourself, it would cost you thousands of dollars, but you get it for free for a full year. And after that, because of our relationship with the people who create all these tools or partners in the business, is that you can actually get access to all this stuff for, for an estimated cost of about 40 bucks a month. Uh, after that, which other people would have to pay thousands of dollars, all because you're an ASM member. But it's optional. You don't have to use it if you want to use it after the year. So here's a quick recap. First off, there's the online web class, the mentor program, access to the private community, the private resource vault, the seller software tool suite, value of the online web class alone worth about $4,000. Mentor program worth about $2,500. Private community about $1,000. Resource vault about $1,500. Seller software tool suite worth about $1,300. All of this easily worth over about $10,000. So, but the real value of what you get is the exact blueprint to build your own business. You also get to create a brand with a million to $3 million a year product opportunities, which there are thousands of those available on Amazon. You get a systematic replicable process to go as big as you want. You also get an opportunity, which is the most important, the opportunity for a lifetime of freedom. That's what's at stake here. And we can show you examples of people that have been out there and done this kind of thing all day long. But here's just a couple more. And here's Boris posting his $40,000 a month screenshot. Here is uh, Daniel posting his 329,000 pounds screenshot. Uh, here's Yanning who says, uh, we started selling in June of this year. Six months in, we're already over $100,000 for the last month. Really excited about where we can take uh, things from here. We're grateful to ASM, all the mentors and the amazing community. Then uh, here's Paul Nichol who's posting $127,000 in sales from August 15th of 2019 to September 15th of 2019. Uh, so big question at this point is you've seen everything. Uh, it's an amazing program, tons of results, but why would you not do this is the question. In my opinion, there's about four reasons. First, you're afraid to fail. Second, you're afraid to waste money. Third, you're afraid to waste time. And fourth, you're afraid to look stupid. All valid concerns. So let's talk about being afraid to fail. So we include two guarantees. First, 30-day guarantee, unconditional risk-free guarantee. You can try everything out for a full 30 days, watch the lessons, get help from the mentors, use the resources. And if there's anything you don't like in there or you decide you want out in the next 30 days, you're 100% covered. Just let our support team know. You can email them, support at amazing.com. You can contact them from within the members area. Uh, you can even use any of the live chat or phone number you see at the top of the page right now if you're on our webpage. 
Uh, you can use any of that stuff and we'll give you a 100% refund. We're also including another guarantee that we don't normally offer, uh, but it is available today, which is the 2020 success agreement. Now we know you may have concerns with coronavirus and everything else going on. Uh, you know, you want to do this business, but you're like, what happens if it doesn't work out because something weird happens in the world? We're trying to make it as failure proof as possible for you. So you basically get until the end of 2020 to try this business out for basically no risk. As long as you get a new product live in the first four months and do all the marketing steps we teach you in ASM in the first five months, we'll give you a 100% refund in this time period by the end of the year on anything you invest in Amazing Selling Machine if you're not happy with your results in the business. Now, that covers your ability, your, your fear that you may be afraid to fail. With those things, there's no way you can fail, otherwise, otherwise you get your money back. Now, what if you're afraid to waste money, which is a valid concern? You're like, well, you know what? Uh, what if I spend some money on inventory and sure I can get my money in ASM back, but what if I spend some money on inventory and I can't sell it? We're covering you there also. With the 2020 success agreement all the way till the end of the year, as long as you get a new product live, do all the marketing steps like we talked about, then not only will we give you a 100% refund on ASM, we'll also buy back up to $5,000 in unsold inventory from you. We know our marketing stuff works. We know you're gonna sell out of your inventory, but if you don't and you want out, you want out of ASM, you want out of the business, not only we're we gonna give you a refund on what you've paid us for ASM, we're also gonna buy back up to $5,000 in inventory from you that you haven't sold. So that you basically are able to walk away from this thing, likely making a little bit of money. Because if you've got some inventory you haven't sold, that means you have sold some inventory and you've likely sold it at a profit. So you're actually able to walk away this thing making money uh, with no risk whatsoever. So that covers your potential to uh, waste money. Now, what about wasting time? Remember, you can do this as little as an hour a day. We all have an hour a day we can spend to change our lives. And so especially with not having to commute, especially with not being distracted with work life, all that sort of stuff, we all have an extra hour a day we can spend. That's all it takes to go out there and build this business. Now, what if you're afraid to look stupid, which is also a valid concern. We all have that fear. Here's a few examples. You know, Marriott, for example, just furloughed thousands of workers. Uh, the famous restaurant owner, Danny Myers Union Square Hospitality Group, uh, laid off 2,000 people. Sonder, a billion dollar apartment rental startup, uh, laid off 400 people. Now, how does that compare to what's happening in e-commerce? Uh, China has been through the coronavirus a little bit earlier than we have. So e-commerce is now driving their stay-at-home economy in the aftermath of the coronavirus. And this uh, article is also talking about a 52% revenue growth rate in online sales, basically when the coronavirus started hitting. It's probably even more right now. So all these people who had these nice, cushy, respectable jobs, which is what most people would consider, Marriott, a nice hospitality group, uh, a cool startup that's backed by, I'm sure, hundreds of millions of dollars in venture capital. All those people no longer have jobs. Whereas the people who went out there and took a little bit of risk, now they're the ones who are tapping into a business that's growing like crazy because everyone's buying stuff online. And that trend, regardless of coronavirus or not, has been happening for a very, very, very long time. Every single year, a significant percentage of sales goes from brick and mortar to online, brick and mortar to online. It's just a nonstop trend because we all want to buy stuff online. So that to me is the safe route, not working for a big company. Here's an example of uh, one of our members posting, is anyone else getting more than usual sales right now? Says our sales have skyrocketed. And Lou at the bottom says our sales are four times more than normal right now. I bet you, uh, and you'll probably experience the same thing, is that when these people joined Amazing Selling Machine, when they started selling their, building their businesses, is that their friends and family probably thought they were like, oh, you're, you're just getting ripped off. That's a mistake. It's a scam. Uh, you know, any of that kind of stuff. And we all get that kind of thing because nobody else wants to go out there and start their own business because everyone else is afraid. But to me, that's the smart option. And we've been out there doing this stuff for a long time. You know, we've heard people um, that have built amazing businesses with ASM. And we, we learned like Mike McClary, for example, he's working his corporate job. He's like, ah, what the heck's this online stuff? Uh, you know, who's this amazing company that uh, is going out there teaching people this stuff? Like, I don't know if I could trust this. We've been out there doing this stuff a long time. I have 127,000 likes on our Facebook page, 4.7 out of five rating based on 600 people on our Facebook page. Um, and here's the top review that we just found out about the other day because we've never solicited Facebook reviews or anything like that. This is one of our members who's been super pumped and is doing over a million dollars in sales a year, I guess, with uh, about two employees. Just to show you that we're a real company, we've been out there doing this stuff a long time and we honor everything that we've said. So what's really at stake here? If you have just one product selling 25 units a day 
at a $10 profit, that's about $7,500 a month in profit. If you have two products, each selling 25 sales a day, each at about a $10 profit, that's $15,000 a month in profit. If you have four products, same number of units, same profit, that's about $30,000 a month in profit. Here's an example of George who's gone out and this he's basically posting his $50,000 a month badge following this exact same system, going from one product to two products to four products, and he keeps building his business. Now with all this stuff considered, what's the investment to speed up your success with ASM? We pulled this, the average cost of a year of college is about $25,000. The average student loan borrower graduated with about $28,000 in student loan debt in 2017. The investment to join ASM isn't $28,000, like the amount of debt people end up with in college. It's not $25,000, like the average cost of a year of college, even though you get free lifetime updates forever. Uh, the investment is only $9.97 a month for just six payments. After six payments, you basically owe nothing. Uh, you get lifetime access and free updates to everything. This isn't like a recurring, never-ending charge. Just $9.97 a month, six payments, and you get lifetime access to everything. Our investment in ASM is about $2 million a year. That's what we put in in training and resources and software and management and everything else to make it the best program out there showing you how to build this kind of business. So you get access to all this for just six payments of $9.97. We put over $2 million a year into it. Now we have a special live webinar only offer that is only available for people that are on this webinar. So we know you can change your life in as little as an hour a day. This business is your path to freedom. The world's eventually gonna go back to normal, but when is that gonna happen? We don't really know. So we wanna make sure and help you move as fast as possible. So we're giving you a handful of bonuses. The first bonus you get only when you sign up through this live training is an expert product listing evaluation. One of the most critical aspects of this business is choosing the right product to sell. So when you narrow your list down based on all the research and stuff we teach you in Amazing Selling Machine to your top three products, you're going to be able to send that to one of us or one of our expert mentors, and we're going to give you our feedback of which product we would sell if we were in your shoes starting this business. Incredibly valuable. I've done this for a few people, and their businesses have actually absolutely exploded. Second bonus you get, done for you product sourcing. You don't have to worry about going out there, finding suppliers in China, or contacting them, going back and forth, communication barriers. We're going to handle all that stuff for you. We've got a whole team of people that source products all day long in China, we're actually gonna do the sourcing for you so that uh, you don't have to do any of this stuff. Now the value is not just to save time and hassle, but you're gonna have likely higher quality products and likely better pricing, which is worth an incredible amount. I mean, just in the first year alone, that could easily save you thousands of dollars in product cost. We're giving you access to that only today. Now, both of these are limited because obviously our mentor time is limited. Our China sourcing team is limited. Normally we've charged as much as $2,500 to help people source products in China, but you get access to it included on top of everything else in Amazing Selling Machine right now. And we're doing something else, but this is really only available for the first 20 because of the highly limited nature of it. So the other two are available to everyone, but this last one is available just to the first 20 people. So as a third bonus, you're gonna get two private one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with one of our mentors. Remember, on average, they've sold about $1.8 million each on Amazon. They've helped thousands of people in the community. They've been through Amazing Selling Machine. You can use those coaching sessions to plan your marketing, to uh, you know plan your product listing, anything that you want. You can use those two coaching sessions. So you get all three of these bonuses when you're one of the first 20 to sign up when I give you the URL in just a few minutes, but everyone gets access to the first two bonuses. So summary of everything you get. So you get 153 video lessons. You get 40 hours of content, access to 21 experts, you get a private community access, you get 44 resources, $1,300 worth of software, you get the speed to market bonus package is what, you, what we just talked about. Your investment for all of this and ASM is just $9.97 a month and just six payments and then you're basically in for life. You get, uh, you invest in inventory, which on average when we've surveyed people is about 1200 bucks and you only need about as little as an hour a day to go out there and go through the training and build your business. Now the potential profit of all this like the numbers that we covered, two products, 25 uh, sales a day, about $10 profit each, is about $15,000 a month, which is about $180,000 a year, just as an example of what's possible with this business. Other benefits of this, beyond just building the business, is we're going to give you a certificate of completion whenever you graduate from ASM. Now, the value of this is, 
is that you can go out there and offer services to other businesses who need to know how to market, select products, source products, all that kind of stuff. And you could also get a great job. If you just need a job to hold you over until you're able to go out there and build your business, we've had people that have reported to us literally just at an event a few months ago, or I guess at this point, maybe like six months ago, and that have literally reported to us that like, you know, we're like, man, I joined ASM. I was super pumped to build a business, but I needed to get a job just to hold me over until my business uh, succeeded because I lost my job. They would, that person was able to get a six figure job just because they went through ASM and they worked for a company that needed help growing their brand on Amazon. That's what's possible with this outside of just building your business. Plus you're getting real world business experience, not theory, not any of that kind of stuff. So if you need to pad your resume or any of that kind of stuff, this is also a perfect way to do that in addition to the real value, which is building your business. So at this point, you can keep doing what you've been doing. You'll probably get the same results or you can jump in this opportunity and go out there and build a successful business and potentially change your life forever. So now I'm gonna give you the instructions to grab your spot. And hopefully you're one of the first 20 to get access to the two free one-on-one -on -one coaching calls um, with one of our mentors. So go to asmnow.com slash speed, S-P-E-E-D, before this live session ends. Fill out the secure registration form. You're gonna receive a welcome email and private login details. Then you can log into your membership and build your new future. So now what happens if you wait? You're gonna miss the potential market opportunity. A lot of things are changing. Remember, I bought this product just because I'm having to work from home now and I'm not able to go to a gym. There are thousands of products like this right now that people are not tapping into that can make you, uh, help you build an incredible business right now. Uh, whereas everyone else is kind of still scrambling to keep their existing businesses and adjusting for the new market. If you're starting brand new, you're in a better position than the people who are just trying to manage stuff that's already been going that's based on the world three months ago. Plus, if you wait, you're probably gonna to continue to have a lack of financial control where you could have um, more control over your financial future because you're controlling your business, your sales, your growth and everything else. And potentially live a life of should haves. I should have started this a month ago. I should have started this a year ago. I should have joined when I was able to get those bonuses. All that kind of stuff. You don't wanna live that way, especially when you have two guarantees uh, backing up any decision that you make. And you're gonna miss out on the opportunity to get the speed to market bonus with three different bonuses in there. So I'm gonna play this little video. I know the audio is not gonna be perfect. We haven't found a better way to do this video. So I'm gonna play this video that's from our real members that they started with $500 and in a few years, we're able to sell their business for $4 million, being members of Amazing Selling Machine, following this exact same model. So as soon as I cover this, we're gonna jump into Q&A and start hammering the questions out that uh, you have for us. You know, for us, this was this was life changing. You know, what it did, the most the biggest priority for us was to spend more family time. So I think that's that's what's most valuable is spending that time together. And I was gone like four nights a week or whatever in sales, and I'd get home to the and we have two small kids, a four year old and an eighteen month old now, but they're even smaller then. And and you know, they'd be like they would change, it'd be so different. I was missing out on so much, and so that's what we call Operation Bring Daddy Home. So the fact that we're able to spend unlimited time together as a family. And that's because ours. of just something you put up on YouTube. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's not really life changing for us. It's going to be life changing for them and, and all that quality time that, that we get to, to, to make memories together and stuff. So that's that's what we want to do to make sure that you know how much we appreciate it because this isn't just like a side thing for us. This was really life changing for us and plus allows us to leave a legacy, you know, for our kids and, and on down the line. So when we say, you know, it changed our lives, it's it's not like some cheesy line, like it, it really did, like the idea that you put together initially years ago of private labeling products and selling them on Amazon, the idea that you put out there um, that we followed, like it, it gave us an opportunity, you know, um, and it is just that, it's an opportunity, it's not like guaranteed, it's not a get rich quick scam, yeah. but sometimes in life, um, if you're open and you're searching um, and looking to achieve like a bigger goal, you're just looking for an opportunity. And I feel like for us, it was the opportunity, you know, that we were waiting for. Yeah. So Lee and David, amazing couple, very real story. They were able to, able to go out there with no kind of related experience and build an incredible business following this exact same model. So everything you need to succeed is inside of Amazing Selling Machine. You get the online web class, you get the mentor program, you get the private community, the resource vault, the software tool suite, you're covered with, uh, you get free updates anytime we update anything in the training. You get a 30-day guarantee, the 2020 success agreement, plus the live training bonuses that are available today. 
including the first 20 bonus. And then total value of all this over $23,000. You can get access to all of it right now today, backed by the two guarantees at asmnow.com slash speed, S-P-E-E-D. We would love to help you go out there, change your life forever, build a successful business, um, be able to control your financial future, uh, be able to help you retire sooner, be able to help you provide more for your family, be able to help you give the freedom you want so you can go out there, build this business from home right now, and in the future, be able to run it while you're traveling around the world, doing whatever you want, exploring the world, whenever we're sort of able to uh, leave our houses again. Um, so this is all possible with this kind of business, and we really, really want to help you do this. Uh, so grab your spot, asmnow.com slash speed. The special bonus package is not going to be available for long. And the first 20 bonus could already be selling out. So uh, grab your spot, asmnow.com slash speed. Mark's going to come back on, do some Q&A. And I'm going to uh, grab some more water and I'll be back in just a couple seconds. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Uh, yeah, we got a ton of great questions. Thanks for everyone who is sending them in via text. Uh, we've been responding back and forth, answering as many as we can, but we're going to try to cover some of them right now and let Matt catch his breath. Great job, by the way, Matt. All right. So first question, uh, many people ask, and I'm sure this is on a lot of people's minds, how much does it take to get into this business and to run it outside of joining ASM? Uh, Matt did cover this uh, a little bit back. So you, uh, the biggest expense, of course, is going to be your inventory. And I don't like to look at it as an expense. It's an investment. Um, even when you do accounting for a business, buying inventory isn't an expense. It's an asset because you, you spend the money on that inventory, but then you're allowed to sell it and make a profit off of it. So it's not really something you spend like on phone service or internet service or, you know, uh, maybe even ink for your for your printer. Uh, that's a real asset you're building up. But uh, other than getting into ASM, the biggest you know cost is going to be your inventory. You can go as little as $500. That's what we did when we started off with our very first product. Uh, or you can go up to somewhere like three, four thousand dollars if you want to. On average, you'll, you know, we found our members usually spend around twelve hundred dollars and that will include getting that shipped in. Now what's really important is trying to get about a couple hundred units of inventory in because what that's going to allow you to do is to offer your first 30 to 50 at a significant discount to really start building up some traction and some velocity and getting some reviews in. So of course, if your product is on the lower end of the spectrum, as far as cost goes, you can probably get more than just a couple hundred in. Uh, but if you're selling a product that costs maybe $20, $30 per unit, that's when you would want to go for a lower minimum order quantity. Um, so really $1,200 is on average. You can go a little higher on that for your inventory. If you want to do your own pictures of your products, you can do that. Like Matt said, cell phones take great pictures nowadays. You can also ask your supplier to do it, or you can spend you know, 30 to $50 to have your primary image taken as a by a professional photographer. Uh, of all the things other than inventory, usually I'll have a photographer or a professional take an image of our, or take a photo of our products because you want that main one to look really good. Other than that, when it comes to the other costs as far as advertising goes, those come straight out of your Amazon sales that you make. So when you need to advertise on Amazon, we always use Amazon sponsored products. That's the easiest, most effective way to do it. You don't have to put money in to do that. What happens is as you make sales on Amazon, Amazon will deduct the, the cost of those advertising straight from your account. So it's not cash out of your pocket. They'll just take it away from your proceeds that they send you every two weeks. So maybe $1,200 for inventory, you can go higher or lower. Uh, 30 to $50, you want to get a single picture taken. Uh, your packaging, you can have professionally done for three or $400, or you can ask your manufacturer to do it. Uh, and, and your advertising just comes out of the normal disbursements Amazon makes for you. Um, now, the next question was kind of related to that. That's why I put it together. Uh, one of our uh, potential members asked, how much money do you need to spend on Facebook and or Instagram? Because I have a hard time even getting my existing fans to ever buy anything from me. So when it comes to Facebook and Instagram, you can get a ton of traffic. We do some Facebook advertising as well as Instagram. However, when you're starting off, you do not need to worry about spending any money on Facebook ads. Uh, the only advertising we recommend starting off with is Amazon ads. And the reason for that is that when you're advertising on Facebook uh, and or Instagram or YouTube or our Pinterest, you're trying to figure out who those potential people are that might wanna buy your product. And it can be a, a real art to figure that out and to really do a lot of testing. However, when you're advertising right on Amazon, you know that you have people that are going there specifically to buy. 
uh, people do Google searches. People, you know, when they're watching their feed on Facebook or Instagram, they might see an ad and they might be in the market to buy a product. But when you're on Amazon, you are specifically there to look to purchase a product. And that's why when you advertise using Amazon's own ads, you are getting such a a better return on your investment. So we only recommend starting off using Amazon sponsor product ads. They're very, very easy to do. Inside of Amazing Selling Machine, we walk you through exactly how to set up those ads uh, and how to set up multiple campaigns, uh, depending upon what you want to do. We'll show you how to set up an automatic campaign, how to set up a, a manual campaign to start targeting the keywords you want to rank for, and also how to use these different types of searches, whether they're broad, phrase, or exact. You don't need to worry about that. We walk you through exactly how to do it inside of Amazing Selling Machine. And one of the tools that we give you to use will actually set those up for you. You'll tell them the product that you want to advertise and it'll go through and set those campaigns up. It's pretty much a, uh, you know, a point and click system where it'll walk you through the creation of those automatically. It's a great value add in there to make sure that you don't have to be a professional or an expert in advertising. We'll walk you through how to do that and have our tool help you with that as well. Um, Arun asked the question, how do you check the quality of your product before importing them from China, if that's where you're going from? And also, how do you handle getting the lowest MOQ possible? So first off, um, to check the quality of your product, uh, one, you'll get a sample, like Matt mentioned. We never recommend placing an order without first getting a sample from your supplier. Um, now, we actually recommend getting samples from three different suppliers, because even though you may get really good quotes and, and you know prices from suppliers, the quality may vary from them. So you'll get three different samples in, you'll evaluate the sample quality, you'll look at the price that the product was quoted from your supplier, and also take into account which of your potential suppliers was best at being responsive and communicating. And then looking at those different factors, plus several other factors are going to walk you through, then you'll make the decision in order to choose which supplier. Now, one thing you will want to do as well is once you actually place your order, I always recommend having a few items, a few units sent straight to you. So if you order 200 units, you can have them send 198 straight to Amazon and then have two of them sent to you. So once again, for the final product, you can have another check on the quality of those products. You can see exactly what the logo may look like that you had printed on it. You can see exactly what your packaging looked like. And you can use those final finished uh, products that were sent to your home directly to take professional product photos as well. That way, even though the rest of your inventory is going straight to Amazon, you get a couple in so you can check it out and also have some pictures taken for it. And then maybe even show you using it on Facebook. Uh, you don't have to pay for ads. Uh, same thing on YouTube. You don't have to pay for videos. You can do a simple unboxing of your own product, put it on YouTube just to get free traffic for your launch and for your product going forward. All right, so David asked the question, what product category can I start selling in during this pandemic? Uh, for me, it's not so much what you should get started in, it's what you should avoid. Um, I heard Matt mention it early on, you know, there are a lot of products that are selling incredibly well right now. Toilet paper, hand sanitizer, foaming hand soap, uh, gloves, masks, thermometers, things like that. So for me, those products are doing incredibly well primarily because of what's going on in the world right now. And I would avoid those right now just because there's a ton of competition. And also there are a ton of, you know, maybe bad apples that are taking advantage of people during this time. Amazon did have to clamp down on people that were not selling authentic face masks that the uh, surgeons and doctors and medical technicians have to use. And so right now there's a lot of scrutiny of those products. So what we're recommending for our members unless you're already a medical product provider and seller, stay away from them right now because there's gonna be a lot of scrutiny on there and you just put yourself at too much risk. Uh, we actually have a list of lots of products that we would tell you to stay away from for your very first product, only because we know after you know training tens of thousands of people and us, myself and the mentors and Rich and you know, and Matt and Jason, and everyone else and amazing, we know which products can kind of cause you know a, a few we call them speed bumps, you know, road bumps for you or whatever you want to call them, some hurdles for you in the beginning. So we recommend which products to stay away from. Not that you have to stay away from them forever, just when starting off, we want you to have the most profitable and easiest product to get going on. So we'll tell you which ones to stay away, away from. And then after you've launched your very first product, then pretty much any product is fair game. We just want to make sure you get in as easy with as least obstacles, uh, obstacles as possible. That's why we tell you the ones to stay away from and we give the exact category to sell in. Now, with that said, David, I can suggest a few that I think I would look into. Um, games for homes, you know, for people playing games in their family are selling great right now. It's one of the top searches on Amazon. Puzzles for adults, puzzles for kids. Those are selling like crazy. 
um, outdoor games as well. People are starting to get outside here in America. The weather is starting to get nice. People want to get out in their backyards. So different kind of yard games are going really well as, uh, as well. Uh, people are doing a lot of gardening right now. So anything we're doing with out, outdoor gardening, people are looking forward to doing fishing, to doing camping. Uh, my supplier actually messaged me a few weeks ago and wanted to know if I want to get into the fishing industry because in China, the number one product that was being sold after the pandemic was clearing up was fishing equipment. And they noticed that a lot of the products in China for fishing were all sold out. So that's probably gonna carry over here into the United States pretty soon. So if you're selling in the US market or the EU, EU market, fishing products or any kind of sporting or outdoor product is a product that is gonna be doing really well. Uh, pretty much anything that people are doing at home in their home office or for kids who are now learning to study and do homeschooling. Uh, my daughter had to buy her first microphone and high quality headset because she never had them before. Those are the types of products that I see not only selling well now, but are probably going to be selling well in the future because the entire world is changing for us. Uh, what I'd stay away from, travel related products. Travel is going to pick up eventually. Um, there's no way people are not going to travel in this world ever again. But for the time being, I would stay away from them because you just it's really an uncertain market and there'll probably be a large buildup of travel related products once the market opens up. Um, but for now, I kind of stay away from them and focus on the products that we guide you to. Um, all right, so I see Matt is about on. Matt, I'm gonna answer one more here and then I will uh, go back and forth with you on a few other products. So this is from Brittany and she's asking, when searching for your first product, do you think what the product is that you wanna sell first and see if it fits your parameters or the rules that Matt laid out? Or do you first look at the parameters and see what kind of products pop up? Well, Brittany, what we like to do is follow the numbers. You definitely can look into products that you are passionate about and they have an interest in. But for me, I wouldn't look at the exact product. I would think about maybe a category. If I were in, for example, let's carry over the, the, the fishing category. Um, I would go on and look for fishing products, but then I would see which of those products meet the criteria that Matt talked about. And specifically, when you get inside of Amazing Selling Machine, we have even much more specific criteria. We're gonna walk you through each individual category and tell you which bestseller ranks we think you should look for in that individual category because we know which products are too competitive and we also know which products are not selling enough to make it worth your while. So we're gonna give you a list for every single category on Amazon and tell you which bestseller ranges you should start looking in and then give you some different pricing ranges as well. So we'll walk you through the different categories, but I would think of maybe the highest level, the category you're interested in, and then let the numbers tell you which products are going to meet our criteria. And you'll have lots of products there, and then you can look for those and determine which ones kind of spark an interest with you. Um, so, all right, so the next question here, I'm gonna post a few here for Matt and I, but Matt, the question for you would be from Dale Blackwell. He's asking, how important are customer reviews for the seller on Amazon now? Uh, yeah, I mean, the reviews are still super important. It's like one of those things, I mean, just imagine like you're a customer and uh, you're going there looking for a product. I mean, what are the main things you're gonna check out? You're gonna check out the image, the title, the pricing, the, um, the reviews are still gonna be very important, but it's not everything. I mean, what matters more is if you can rank for a keyword, reviews do help you rank and they help you convert better, which also impacts rankings, but it's not everything. So still important, um, best way to get reviews is to sell a good high quality product and to follow up with customers afterwards, like kind of using the, some of the ways that we showed you in this webinar, uh, our live training. And so, yeah, uh, still important, but it's not everything to the business. And then Matt also, uh, I know you have a lot of experience with this one. Uh, Chetna was asking, how does drop shipping work and do you still recommend it? Uh, no, <laughs> uh, it's actually the business that I first started off in, which is why I can speak so openly about it. Um, I don't recommend it because you don't own the, brand, which is maybe obvious if you know what drop shipping is, uh, but it's very easy to create your own brand of just about any product out there. The value of drop shipping for people that aren't familiar with it is that like, I mean, the whole way it's kind of pitched and the way I thought it was cool at first was that um, you go out there and you could basically throw up a website, start selling products, and then you can, whenever you make a sale, you send that order info over to the supplier who's doing the drop shipping for you. And then you don't ever have to carry any inventory and it sounds like a great thing. The problem is, is that you're competing with a million other people who are selling the exact same products, uh, literally the same brand, same product, and your profit margins are terrible. And so, and, and the business isn't really worth anything at the end of the day for, in most cases. And so compare that to if you own the brand, then your brand is actually worth something. You can sell that business, which is like how Lee and David Cup sold their business for like $4 million uh, is because they own the brand. Uh, and then also you have way higher profit margin. So you should be able to make more cash flow for yourself. 
you do have to buy some inventory up front, which is the only downside to owning your own brand. But based on everything considered, I think it's it's definitely worth it and in favor of owning your own brand versus drop shipping. Awesome. All right. So uh, one question here is, uh, I'll take this one. Does Amazon have a need for more sellers? I know it may sound kind of crazy because Amazon does have a lot of sellers out there, but the answer is absolutely yes. And in addition to needing more sellers, they need more products. Imagine you are Amazon, uh, you're in any business. Uh, the real question to you is, do you want to continue to grow? In Amazon, as with the amount of money they're investing every single year in their internal business and also on sellers like us, clearly shows that they want to attract more sellers, clearly shows that they want more products on their website. They want to sell as many products as possible so they can get as many customers as product on there. And, as, and so they want as many sellers as, as possible. What they really want are sellers who are going to take care of their customers. To Amazon, the customer is everything to them. So they want to make sure that they have the best products, the best prices, and the best customer service. And a part of that customer service are people like us who create our own brands and sell on Amazon. So if you're able to go out there and follow what we teach you, if you could follow just what Matt talked about in this training, then go above and beyond and follow what we're teaching you an amazing selling machine, you're going to sell a high quality product. You're going to sell one that's a good value. You'll get a good profit off it, but it'll still be a good value for your customers. And you're going to provide the absolute best customer experience than 99% of the other sellers out there. There are so many sellers out there that don't even know what you learned on this training right here, that they don't know how to take care of a customer. They don't know how to you know, make sure that a customer gets a refund when they need to, make sure they get another product when they need to. They don't know how to make sure that a customer knows how to reach out and get support should they be having problems with it. Amazon does a great job, job of taking care of the customer's basic issues as far as like shipping and pricing and maybe some kind of sales issues. But those very, very few times that a customer might want to reach out to a seller, then you're going to know exactly how to give them the absolute best customer experience. People used to ask me all the time, what was my secret to being successful in selling on Amazon? Well, one, it was being a member of Amazing Selling Machine and making that smart choice. But number two was always providing stellar customer service. So 99% of the sellers out there right now know nothing about branding, marketing, customer service. You're going to learn exactly how to do that inside of Amazing Selling Machine, and you will absolutely rise to be the cream of the crop of the sellers out there, no matter how many of the sellers are out there on Amazon. Um, Mike, do you want to fire questions to me or do you yeah, want- Yeah, why don't I do that? All right, so um, here's the next question out there. So do um, our manufacturer warranties still something that customers want to have? And is that something you recommend? <laughs> uh, this is not something I have a ton of experience in. Um, what we, from basically like copywriting standpoint, we've always liked to give people the ability to um, basically kind of like what we're doing here, but like is basically get their money back if somebody's not happy with a product, which is why on a lot of Amazon listings, you'll see, you know, lifetime warranty or, you know, some sort of guarantee or something. It just lets people know that if they're buying your product and you have an issue that you'll replace it or give them a refund, which I would recommend doing anyways. And so if you're the only person in your market, that's actually saying that, that, Hey, if there's any issue, we're going to give you a refund or replacement or whatever. Um, you can call a warranty or guarantee or whatever you want then uh, it'll help you increase sales. And so I recommend including that. Um, some people I know do disagree, um, but it is recommended. And you can always just check out top selling products on Amazon and see which ones do and which ones don't. I mean, that product I showed you that's selling 13,000 a month. I mean, they have one of those kind of warranties or guarantees on there. Um, so uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Yep, I agree. We offer that. Uh, we offer a minimum five-year warranty with our products. Of course, you can choose to do whichever kind of makes sense for your brand. Um, so here's the next question. In reality, how much will freight forwarding cost and how do you find that out? Um, so of course, freight forwarding is going to vary. I know we hate saying that question all the time, but uh, when it comes to shipping, that is really true. In Matt's example, we use $1 per unit as an average. And for the products that I sell, and many of my products are way a full pound, um, and uh, the average is out to be about a dollar or less to get everything shipped in. So that's why we put that in the training to make sure that we're using a very conservative estimate when it comes to shipping. Now, if you have lighter products and smaller products, of course, they'll cost out less. I've had some products that on average, the shipping is about 10 or 11 cents per unit because they're kind of small and they can pack well together. And I've had a few products. There was a line that Matt and I had together, as a matter of fact, that cost a couple bucks because it was a pretty big product that we wanted to send to sell out there. What was important though, is that when we did 
did our research up front, we factored in all the numbers. We knew what the cost was going to be from our supplier. We knew what got an estimate from our freight forwarder. And it's simple as that. That was the other part of the question. You contact your freight forwarder, you give them all the shipping dimensions or to make it even easier, put them in contact with your supplier and get those dimensions from your supplier. Uh, and then you'll, they'll tell you what the estimated freight cost is going to be. And you simply factor that in before you make a final decision. Because in the end of the game, you want to make sure that you're getting a profit out of there. That's why we recommend something that's five pounds or less, because we know that on average, you'll be able to get freight forwarding costs pretty easily. But that doesn't mean you couldn't go above and beyond that. As a matter of fact, some people like to stay below one pound. That's why we increased our recommendations to five pounds because we know that between those one and five pound uh, weights for products, a lot of people were avoiding it. So there was a big gap in the marketplace and you can actually get a much better profit margin simply because a lot of people weren't even looking at those products where we now recommend them. Um, so definitely, you know, reach out to a freight forwarder. It should cost on average, we're gonna say a dollar each, but it's gonna vary because of the size and weight. Sometimes size is even much more important when it comes to shipping because a big bulky product can weigh just a pound or so, but if it takes up a lot of room, that's what you're paying for on these shipping containers. Um, here's one for you, Matt. Um, could you please explain the 2020 success uh, agreement again? Uh, yes. Let me see. Maybe the easiest way is to go back to a slide. <clears throat> one second, everybody. Um, let's see here. All right. So I'm pull up this slide here and um, I'll just keep it zoomed out like this. Uh, so you can see here on this right, this is a 2020 success agreement. Now, this is not a standard guarantee that we offer. So if you were to go to amazingsellingmachine.com, all you would get is a 30-day guarantee, which is still very valuable. Uh, but this extra guarantee is only available um, as part of this kind of whole bonus package that we're offering. And so what we're doing is because we know there's a lot of uncertainty and people are concerned about things going on in the market and different things with Amazon. I mean, like the questions we're getting here, can you still ship stuff in? Like we know a lot of this stuff and we know you'll be good to go. Uh, but if you've never sold on Amazon, you have legitimate concerns. And so we wanted to do something to help cover you all the way through the end of the year. And so basically all the way until the end of the year, all you have to do is make sure you get your product live, a new product live following our training in the first four months, do all the marketing steps in the first five months. And as long as you do those two things, just showing you've given this business a try, then we'll basically extend our refund period, if, if that's how you wanna look at it, all the way until the end of the year. So you can get a 100% refund on ASM. You can really build the business, go through all the training, talk to the mentors, all that stuff on us for like eight months. And uh, you get access to all that stuff. And then basically, if you decide at some point after that, you want out, um, I mean, during that period, if you want out, then uh, we'll give you 100% refund as long as you've done those two things. And we're also giving you, uh, we'll buy back up to $5,000 in if any inventory you haven't sold. So if you followed all our training and you don't sell your inventory uh, and you decide you want out, we'll give you 100% refund on ASM and buy back up to $5,000 in inventory you haven't sold. I mean, this crazy guarantee, we're able to offer it because we know how happy you're gonna be when you get this business up and running, but you may not know that right now. And we wanna cover you in the potential case that you're not happy with your results, even though we, we know you will be, uh, but in case you're not, then you're completely covered. And so that's what the 2020 success agreement's all about. All right, here's a pretty specific question. It was, is this a good platform to start a hair care line on, uh, like oils and conditioners? While we were on the webinar, I pulled up some uh, uh, hair care lines on Amazon to get an idea of exactly how profitable it could be. Because believe it or not, you may think that Matt and I know about every single product out there on Amazon that's selling. And every time that we're able to find new products, it kind of blows us away because there are so many different products on Amazon, so many that we never think of. Um, so I went out there and looked. Uh, hair care lines can be incredibly lucrative on Amazon, but there's a there's a, a trick, I'll call it, or one thing you want to keep in mind. If you're going to sell something like any kind of beauty line, I would recommend going for a high-end one, making sure that you're selling something that you can get a good profit margin of. There's tons of shampoos, conditioners out there you can buy, you can sell um, you know, for $10, maybe, maybe $11 or $12 on Amazon. But the ones that I saw that were doing really good when it came to profit was those that were like the high-end ones. There was one called Olaplex that sells $28 for one bottle, but they're doing $600,000 a month in sales. Uh, right there, that is a seven plus million dollar product a year. There were several others that were doing well over a hundred thousand. Another one was doing a quarter of a million dollars a month in revenue on there. Uh, but again, the ones that I found that were doing the best, they're more high end. So if you were to go that route, I'm not saying this is exactly the right product to sell, uh, 
I've, I need to go through and put it through all the exact same product section criteria that you're going to learn inside of Amazing Selling Machine. Again, we'll have a very specific uh, BSR best sellers range for the this, this particular category. You want to make sure it fits into that. You want to make sure that the weight is okay. That should be okay. You want to make sure that the price is okay. You want to check out what your cost is going to be. And the good thing about uh, beauty products and hair products, you can get those sourced from the United States. Um, so yeah, it is definitely a category that I see other sellers doing really well in. Uh, and you'd want to go get inside of ASM, check out our criteria, run the, through the, the different criteria and see if that does make sense for you. But yeah, you definitely could make a good good living off of uh, if you have one of those top selling products. Uh, so just want to cover something. So just so everyone knows, we're probably going to only be able to take a handful of more questions. So when we get off this training, um, you know, make sure you grab your spot because there is a countdown timer that's ticking away on the registration form. So if you go to asmnow.com slash speed, you can see a countdown timer up there. And when that's done, this bonus package is no longer available. So we really want you to jump inside, grab your spot in ASM, get access to the 2020 success agreement, get access to the uh, product evaluation bonus, the sourcing bonus, and plus the one-on-one -on -one coaching session. So all that's available right now. And if you wait, uh, it's not gonna be available. So uh, make sure you jump over to asmnow.com slash speed to get access to all that. And we do also do have another option that if you just wanna pay in advance upfront, um, rather than doing the six payments, you can actually save about $1,000. And just so you know, we accept PayPal credit card and all that typical kind of stuff. If you have any questions whatsoever or issues ordering or anything, our support team is very available. So there's a live chat link on the page. There should be a little floating thing on the bottom right if you're on desktop, but on mobile as well. And then there's also a phone number at the top. So use any of those methods. You can call us, contact us, and uh, we will definitely help you out. But those bonuses are going to be unavailable as soon as that countdown timer ends. So make sure you check all that stuff out and grab your spot. Um, but yeah, we can probably handle a couple more questions. Then then we got to shut her down. All right. Sounds good. Uh, so one question. I don't know the asker of this because it's just a text number. Uh, if our inventory is coming into the U.S. from China, do we need to get a certificate or approval from the FDA? Um, so again, uh, different products require different approvals. Most of them don't require anything. Uh, your freight forwarder will handle all of that for you. That's the benefit of using one of the freight forwarders that we have, especially listed inside the private resource vault. They make the importing process incredibly simple. I've now been importing and selling products for six, seven years, and I know virtually nothing about freight forwarding, uh, but I know the value of having a good freight forwarder because they're going to tell me either what I do need to know, or they're just going to take care of it. Uh, which is what they do for almost all of our products. I, I don't even talk to my supplier sometime when we have a new, a new shipment ready. My, they just contact my freight forwarder uh, and they give us all the details about when their shipment's going to go out, when it's going to be expected at Amazon and so forth. Now, when it comes to FDA, if you are selling a product that is going to be touching food or it's a medical device, then you may need to get FDA approval. Again, we have a list of different products and that need additional approval. Uh, again, they're not products that you have to stay away from. There, there are certain ones that just right, I'm sorry, might require a little bit of an extra time in getting approvals. So if you're going to sell one with FDA approval, I would recommend staying away from it for your very first product. Again, we'll have a list of those inside of ASM and then try to find something a little easier. There are millions of products on Amazon. You'll find thousands of opportunities. Make it as easy as possible. Find one that's the fastest for you to source, that gets you the highest profit margin, and you can get up and selling. You can learn this business. And then for your second, third, fifth, tenth products, then it's so much easier to go out there. And really, you don't have to avoid any kind of products at all. They don't even have to fit our criteria because once you have a brand selling, you're building up some credentials, people on Amazon, people uh, on Facebook that may start following you on YouTube, may start watching your videos, but your videos, you're, you're going to start building some raving fans. And then you can even sell products that go completely outside of the criteria that we walk you through. Uh, so FDA, only for those that really are medical products, like especially drugs, or those that are going to touch any kind of food. Uh, but most products don't have that on Amazon. Uh, one other question too, I'll, I'll kind of answer here too before we get to Matt, is do you need a reseller certificate? This is really a certificate that if you were doing drop shipping like Matt covered earlier, that you need to get a reseller certificate. We're not reselling anyone else's products. It may seem like you're buying products from someone uh, in China or in India or some other place in the United States and you're reselling them. You're not. You are asking them to private label or manufacture your own brand of products. So you're not reselling anything. You're paying them to manufacture them. And then you're going to be selling them under your own brand. You are, in essence, 
the manufacturer in Amazon's eyes. Um, many companies out there, you might think that a company like Rayovac, for example, or Duracell does all their manufacturing in-house. They don't. They actually outsource the manufacturing to many of the manufacturers that we're able to go to. And so that way, uh, but they're still considered the manufacturer. They just outsource that part of the business. So you do not need a reseller certificate. You just uh, need to start thinking of yourself as the actual manufacturer. Uh, and then that is no, no problems with getting any kind of certificate like that at all on Amazon. Uh, okay, Matt, I know we only got time for maybe one or two more questions. Here's one um, that I'll turn over to you. Uh, how long can we expect before we start selling and seeing a profit in this business? What kind of timeline are you thinking about? Yeah, so, um, I mean, our goal is that you make a profit on every single inventory order. Um, that's going to depend how you manage your business. And if you, you know, sell a product that, you know, follows all the criteria with profitability, um, all that other sort of stuff that we teach in ASM, but there's no reason why you can't make a profit on every single inventory order. So the real question is like, how fast can you get it live? And then how fast can you launch it? Um, you know, typical timeline is if you kind of research product opportunities in the first week, you contact suppliers and hopefully get some samples in the second week. And then um, you're moving at a pretty aggressive pace and you get a product live and you launch it uh, in hopefully the first few months. Then basically, if you do all the launch stuff right, you should be able to sell out of your inventory fairly quickly, I would say within that same month. Um, now, it may not be the same for everybody, but it is possible people have done it. Uh, and if you make a profit on your first inventory order, that means you could literally be making a profit in, you know, as little as three to four months. Now for most people, it may take more like six months for you to go through all those stages, sell your inventory, uh, learn how this business works. But if you move aggressively and move fast and hustle, uh, then you can make it happen much faster. The target we typically get people to start producing consistent profit is around six months. Um, and, uh, you know, at that point, you know, hopefully you start building up your first product, you get multiple products and it starts running like a machine and then you can use it to kind of uh, keep growing as big as you want or build the lifestyle you want. But I mean, that's the rough kind of timeline that you're looking at. Okay, Matt, I think uh, I got time for just one more question then I'll uh, turn it back over to you if that's okay. Cool. All right, so the question here from Marish was, if you, how, do you, or how are you able to negotiate lower MOQs when you want to get custom made packaging made? And is that even possible? So here's a quick little tip you'll learn inside of the training, you'd learn this as well. But if you wanna order maybe a small quantity of products, uh, but you wanna get some custom packaging made, and there are sometimes some restrictions from the supplier, like you have to order at least a thousand units or 2000 units, which it can kind of be scary when you're starting off, we don't necessarily want you to order that many. What we've done in the past in order to make that feasible is order a small quantity of the product and then tell them you're willing to pay for the extra packaging though. Packaging is usually really cheap, like a dime or 15 cents each. So what we did very early on when our funds were low, we, we did exactly that. We ordered a couple hundred units of our product. We ordered a thousand units of the packaging, which was very cheap. And we asked our manufacturer to hold on to that for us because we knew once we sold out of our existing inventory products, they would have the packaging ready to go that we wouldn't have to pay for. That's one of the many little tricks you'll learn inside of Amazing Selling Machine for really being able to control your costs and use your cash as wisely as possible. So Matt, I don't see any other questions unless you wanna, um, no, I don't see any other unless you do. Uh, no, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, you know, like we said, you know, we've got the opportunity for you to go out there, build a business from home, tapping into this opportunity. Now is an incredible time to jump out there and get started with this. Um, you get everything you need, like you show in this, like we show on the screen here, the web class, the mentor program, the community, the resource vault, the software tool suite, free updates to the training covered by two guarantees. Plus you get the live webinar bonuses, which are only available for a few more hours. So if you go to asmnow.com slash speed, you can get all those details. And uh, if you wait, you're going to miss out on those. So hopefully we get to see you inside of Amazing Selling Machine. It is an incredible program that we can absolutely help you change your life. You just have to take the first step, jump in there. And even then, uh, you're still covered. You still have a way out. It's not really a final decision because you've got the 30-day guarantee plus our 2020 success agreement. Uh, so there's really not really any reason not to jump inside of there, or at least give it a try to see if you like it. Uh, if you're going to be sitting at home, uh, in my opinion, you should try to be as productive as possible. Uh, that, that's what I'm trying to do anyway. So uh, hopefully we get to see you inside of Amazing Selling Machine. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, it's, it's been great having you with us. Lots of great questions. We always love hanging out with people that are building businesses or interested in building businesses because we've been in your shoes before. So 
uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I uh, hope to see you on another live training or inside of Amazing Selling Machine. So that's it for me. Uh, now I'll let uh, Mr. Mike sign off. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. And thanks, everyone. Um, been answering a ton of great questions. Like Matt said, we love helping people build a business. We know some people just can't do it right now. Uh, our goal is you're able to take it, you know, what you learned here today and at least take some steps and start building something on your own. And then later on, once you see some fruits from what you're building, then you can definitely uh, um, start thinking bigger and maybe even you know, join us on this journey. It's completely changed my life. Uh, that's one of the reasons I joined up with Amazing, become their chief product officer, because I saw what this could really do for everyone. I saw what it did in my own personal life. I saw what it did for friends. And I saw it could change so many other people's lives that I've become in contact with. And that's why I stand behind this because I wanna see as many people as possible, especially right now in this day and age, this is what I feel to be one of the biggest opportunities out there to create your own thriving business. You're no longer relying upon someone else, some other industry crashing, something else going on in the world. Right now, this is one of the business models that is sticking around and thriving for many, many people. So I'd love to see as many people have that opportunity like I have had as well. So thanks again for joining us. And I hope to see as many of you as possible inside of Amazing Selling Machine. Take care and I'll see you soon.